wants to see me? <laughs> oh, see question. Who else, the boss, Prince Daniel? Hey, 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 mind the way you talk to me, yo. And please, if you want to address him, address him well for me. Yes, ma. Please, oh, uh, I guess you went for me, oh. Uh. What's to me notice? Um, that's the fire I submitted through Angel. I hope all is well. Of course, all is not well. Because of your carelessness, we almost lost 400 million naira in this company today. Are you sure that's the fire I submitted? Are you saying I'm speaking jargon? Well, take a look. Take a freaking look now. Sorry, it won't happen again. Of course it's not going to happen again. Because you're leaving this company today. Uh, today! Sir, please, I'm sorry. I haven't gotten to this. Please, sir, forgive me. To think that I warned you to stop nurturing feelings for me. I told you it was going to cost you your job if you continued. But, but sir, I, I, I stopped that a long time ago. Then what was this love later doing in the file you submitted to me? What was it doing there? So instead of doing the job you're being paid for, you got distracted again. Well, I'm sorry, miss. This company no longer needs your services. You can as well try somewhere else. Now get out. I said get out! Who and the queen had the same dream? Yes, that same dream I told you people that I had. And how did you get to know that the queen and Ono had the same dream? I overheard the queen and Ono having conversation. He was telling the queen that he and Uche Adzi had the same dream. This is serious. Very serious. So, what are we going to do about it? My problem is the prince is not doing anything about it. He's hell-bent on not marrying anyone, either. Ghost of our land, please save us from this doom. Cool. Father, don't you think we're wasting time? In what exactly? Father, come on. I mean, we are giving the prince time to be messing around. He's misbehaving. So I'm saying, all I see is time. Time for him to mess up the more in the eyes of the people. Yes. Okay, Father, what if the people don't even hate him at the end of it? Father, I think we should plan this. Let's plan the kids. Upon his dead. We plan the coup. I take over. This thing is very simple. <laughs> Something. Well, I believe there are many ways to go about this without killing him. For instance, the meeting we attended today, the owner who has already seen the ancient Eagle Bay staff, which is a warning for the prince to take a wife in order to get ready for the girl's ritual. And if <laughs> He refuses to adhere to these advices from the people. What do you think the people will do when they find out that calamity is about to befall them as a result of the prince's stubbornness? Come on, son. Be prudent enough and trust your father. <laughs> father, I trust you, but I just want you to know that 
I am ready and my boys are ever ready. Okay? <laughs> Come on, you're my father. He can do anything for you. Ocho kaiye agbada nye ye agbada ocho kwa ni kaiye dross anye ye dross ndi de bo wo wa trust your father that's my father speaking sip up <laughs> what has life brought my way people say when life gives you lemon you make lemonade out of it it seems my lemonade is worse than the lemons life has given me. Why is my marriage, which should be a good thing, a nightmare to me? What have I done? What have I done to deserve one year of pain? Worst, right? You've done your worst. Ruth, what are you talking about? So this is all you could do. This is all you could do. Huh? Ruth, I am lost here. What are you talking Could about? You shut up your butt and stop giving me that pretentious look. Yeah. Huh? You think I don't know that you put that letter inside that document? Huh? Hey, Angel, I'm talking to you. Is that? Oh, really? Oh, really? Anyway, you have done your worst and I will deal with you. I will show the deal with you, Angel! Hey, Ruth, shut up. You can do nothing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Watch your back, Angel. Watch your back, little girl. Ciao, ciao. Go and rest. Go and watch your feelings at home. Can you imagine? Go and rest at home. Ciao, ciao. Hmm. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to strategize on the bus. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Oh no. From what you just told me he said in that meeting, there is trouble. So how do we remedy this situation? My queen, since after that meeting, I have been dumbfounded. The prince's utterances and how firm he was leaves me with this question to you. Have you been speaking to the prince concerning the culture and tradition of this great kingdom? Have you? Oh, no. Hmm? Don't you know me again? Don't you trust me? If there is anyone in this kingdom who will take it upon herself to speak to Prince Daniel, hmm. that person is me. It is just that the prince has a mind of his own. His only interest is his father's legacies to him, which is his business. Oh no, I am trying. I am truly, truly trying. This is very serious. Hmm. Hmm? If I call him to talk to him about the traditional rituals and ceremonies, he will tell me he's busy with work and contracts. Huh? Is that how he's going to govern the good people of this great and ancient kingdom? No. His perceptions about women are exactly his late father's. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? No, I have carried this in me for the past years that I stayed with my late husband. You know, my husband married me for the throne. 
He married me just to prevent the Gurube staff from appearing in his time. Yes. For the past 10 years that I lived with him before he died, I never slept in the same room with my late husband. Huh? I never slept on the same bed with him. He never touched me. Oh no. My late husband never saw me as a woman, let alone sleeping with me. Yes. Please. Oh no. I need you to speak with Prince Daniel yourself. I believe he will listen to you more because you are a man. Please. My prince, my prince in the making. <laughs> Even so quiet since we get here. What's the problem? Talk to your guy now. I don't become stranger for your territory again. I am not happy the way my father is going with this kingship turtle. How do you mean? The other day I suggested to him that we hit the prince of the game plan a coup if this old man wants to take the kingship to another family that's the right thing to do so what's this end then <sighs> that i should play cool i should pipe low he said i should pipe low of course you know i i can't be patient i don't know i don't have that in my dictionary i don't know how to be patient The lion is nobody's puppet. My prince, just say a word. And your boys will run the errand for you. Sharp. I am Samson Escobar. I lack patience. I, I know you guys will deliver. Definitely. And I'm planning something. Bro. We'll run it well. Sharply for you. Do you understand? There's no problem. All right. in this kind of situation? Why is life treating me this way? God, why? Since this journey is still death to us part. Oh, death. Come and take me. He wasn't like this.
Where is this place? Why are we here? I want you to guess. Can you just go ahead and tell me? You know I don't like guessing. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. This is your home. Your heaven on earth. Hmm? Are you? Are you saying this place belongs to us? Exactly. What? <laughs> it's in. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, you must be joking, right? All right, I specifically want to thank you for standing by me. Because your faith and trust motivated me to do this. Listen. I loved you yesterday. I loved you today. And I'll forever love you. And I love you till eternity. Come <laughs> here! <laughs> oh, my mm. well, I, I'm, I'm still trying to. Can we go inside so you can see the interior? Allow me! Alright! I mean, me... Jesus, I cannot believe this! Oh my god, this is you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I want to see what we have Alright. <laughs> Look at me, I don't know why. This is so nice. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I mean, this whole place doesn't even look like the pig. My love. I have journeyed to a lot of places. And I've met so many ladies. No one, I mean, no one has appealed to my heart the way you do. And on this special day, I want to let you know that you're my heart, desire. You're my love. You're my heartbeat. You are the woman that I truly love. And so I ask, Miss Mirabel Ikema, will you marry me? I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can do this. I can't. Of course I will marry you! Mirabel, you can yeah. mm -hmm. will you marry me? I will marry you! <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. This is How are you? Very well. 
I am deeply sorry. I am still doing this. I had other chores to do in the house. But I promise in no time I will be done. Okay. Come on, honey. I should be the one saying sorry here for making you go through this stress. Just know that I love you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, why didn't you eat at the company's cafe since you said you were so hungry? Honey, I've told you, it's either your food or nothing. So what happens if I travel? I'm going to fast and pray. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be uh, crazy, I swear. Let me help you. Okay, so what do you want to do? This. Uh-uh. I don't want you missing a finger. Don't worry, do this. Look at you. <laughs> so how was your day, Jim? Very well. Okay. Uh-huh. Go with the second one. You're looking so hot. I know. For who? If I don't look hot for you, who else will I be looking hot for? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me get water so we can wash that. Yes, you can put it here. Why? Why me? How did my man become this mean? How did a sweet relationship like ours become so sad? What is going on? How did my heaven become so Seriously, Arinze, the way you're going about this marriage and um, throne issue is getting me all worked up. I mean, why can't a man make his own decisions and be allowed to stand by it? A business decision, me? What do you mean by that? Uh, who makes decisions without a proper reason? And who told you I do not have reasons for my decisions? Well, well, I think I did not attend the ceremony where you made your reason known to everybody. Your Highness, can you do me the favor of telling me what your reason is? I thought as much. Look, you're not just anybody. You are a successful businessman. You are a prince to one of the richest kingdoms in the East. What do you think people will say about your non-association with ladies? Well, I don't care what they think. They will think you are gay. Or they can say whatever they want to say. They can think whatever they want to think. I don't care. I have the right to do whatever I want to do as a man, without pressure. Look, no one is pressuring you. I am simply saying that you do the right thing. Well, the only right thing in my dictionary is my father's legacy. Which is this company, all right? Every other thing is tertiary to me. Please, can we talk about something else? I'm sick and tired of this topic. Look, Daniel, you sucked a girl because she was nurturing feelings for you. As is when did it become a crime to nurture feelings? Arinze, it seems you are not um, ready to offer solutions anymore. You can as well use the door while I focus on getting solutions somewhere else. Daniel, are you infertile?
young man, you called my attention. What exactly do you want? I mean, how may I be of? Atakata, I want to ask you about something that has been giving me a great concern. I mean, a very big one at that. What is it that bothers you that you feel I, Atakata, the son of Ongwe Mary, can provide answers to? It's about the prince. Yes. And what bothers you about the next head that will wear the crown of this great kingdom? Please, Atakata, do you know anything about the prince not wanting to get married? I mean, has he given you any reason? Will you shut up your mouth? Will you shut up your stupid mouth? Sorry. Listen. I will forgive your stupidity this once. Just this once. Never you try this nonsense again. Have you forgotten that I am Atakata? The guardian and keeper of the palace secrets. Listen to me. Anything the royal household did not make public, whatever that they choose not to announce publicly, becomes secret automatically. And such a thing is forbidden to come out from my mouth. It's an abomination for me to say such a thing. Young man, I will advise you mind your job in this palace. Stop prognosing into matters that does not concern you before you land yourself into trouble. Ah, no, Atakada. I was just being concerned. Sorry for yourself. But for how long? I have a man who comes to town from time to time, and whenever he's around, he stays at my place. Besides, he's coming to see my people soon. Whatever. See you then. Bella. Bella, I am not happy with you at all. Why do you keep avoiding law without any tangible reason? You resigned from the job which they virtually worshipped you because of your smartness and dedication. Or because the owner of the company asks you out. A man who is single, handsome and rich. Ella, what is going on? Who does that? Ella Duke. Does that? Babe, I am not joking. I am not joking at all. What kind of a man do you want? I mean, your spec, the kind of man you crave for. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Or is there any more to this that you're not telling me? Okay, listen, Laura. You know, getting a job is never my problem. But you know me too well. I have policy. And when work ceases to be professional, I back out. That was what I told my boss. But he seems carried away with the physical rather than being intellect. And as for the kind of man I want, oh, Laura, I don't want any man. Not at all. I just want to remain single and walk, 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 and walk. That's all. Get it. <laughs> You're joking, right? Just, just tell me. You're playing. You know me too well. I'm not joking. So please. Who is this? What are you doing here? Um, my love. <laughs> Please, I just... I just want you to touch me. Please. Touch you. Touch us, Holy Spirit. Yeah? Touch us, anointing of God. My friend, leave this place! Go, 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 to do my meter, son. 
Leave, leave now, leave. He, he, he's, he's sleeping. I, I, just, I just came in from his room. He, he, he has gone to bed, babe. You rebel. Babe, please, you haven't touched me since I took in. What changed? What did I do? Everything changed. Hey, don't make me do that scene. You are a very cheap whore. Don't. So, sorry, what, what did you just call me? Exactly what I called you. Leave this place. Leave this place now! Leave! I... I don't want to get up from here. Leave! If you need a touch, then the Holy Spirit that touches you. Let that touch kill you there! Touch of them one son. Holy Spirit touch. You can't fold your legs as a woman. Keep your legs. Close it! Mba! You want a touch, you want me to penetrate. Let that thought kill you! Babe, I am not joking. I am not joking at all. What kind of a man do you want? I mean, your spec? The kind of man you crave for, like, you know what I'm talking about? Or is there any more to this that you're not telling me? What is really happening to me? Ah. What is happening to me? God, what is really happening to me? How did you allow this ugly fate to befall me?
Yes, please. I'm begging you. Remove an inch. Just an inch. I swear. Please. I'll end your life. Here and now. It's me. It's me, your wife. The, the, the mother of your son. Please don't do this to me. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please. It's okay. I, I will not do anything to you. Okay. I will not kill you. But you have to allow this substance to enter your ear. What will it do to me? Just hold on. You will know when it enters your ear. Calm. Just be calm. Damon. Damon, please, I'm not making you. I'm not making you. Damon, please, I'm not making you. Damon, please, this. This cannot get into my ears. Damn please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Spare me. Please, just spare me. Don't, don't, don't kill me, please, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Spare me. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Don't go, don't go, don't go. Don't go close to me. Stay away from me. What's your problem? Don't kill me. Just stay away from me. I, I beg you, please don't, don't. Don't kill me. Mirabel, what is your problem? What are, what are you doing with the cutlass? You were screaming, spare me, spare me. So I, I, I came to attack the person. And you heard it all the way from the room? How? What is your problem? Are you suspecting me or something? Is there something you are not telling me? What is going on? Hmm. This tastes really nice. You did a good job, Ikena. You should keep it up. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, Your Highness. Mm. Which particular car are we going to the office with? Atakata. Your Highness. Henceforth, I'll be going to the office alone. Uh, but Your Highness, you do not worry. I have a better assignment for you here in the palace. And I believe you do very well. Yes. As it pleases you, Your Highness. My prince. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I have a question. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ikina. My prince. Is there a reason? As to why you refuse to get married, despite what is at stake. I can see that complimenting your food has gotten into your head and has given you guts to meddle with my personal issues. I'll forgive you this once. And I hope this never happens again. My, my prince, I'm sorry for my That's curiosity. Enough. The, 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 the most stupid human being I have seen in life. How dare you speak to the prince in that manner? You just open your mouth, wah, and you begin to spill nonsense from your mouth. Are you stupid? My oh, prince, my oh, prince, who oh, are you going to worry? So you are very stupid. Will you clear this nonsense? I, I, I was, I, if you say one word, I will slap you. Come sorry. on, get to work. I was so concerned. Idiot. Look at him. I was so concerned. My prince. My mouth will not put me in trouble.
all call yourselves elders of this kingdom. But you don't have the interest of citizens of this kingdom at heart. Yeah, Jude. What is that? Slow down and mind the way you talk to us. Ask what will happen. Will you beat me? Will you beat me? Look at you. You are here. The priest is using you for business. And you are there supporting a harbinger of doom. Jude, mind the way. Mind the way you, you, you speak. Lest you incur the wrath of the gods. You know how it is. Remember, it's the prince you are talking about here. The prince of this land. You are talking about him in such, in such a nefarious and condescending manner. Prince or no prince, I will air my mind. If he's a good leader, why is he not doing the needful? Hmm? Dude. The way you are taking this case, personal, leaves me hanging in a puzzle. We're all gathered here as elders of this kingdom to decipher a way forward. But here you are, speaking like someone who has a personal vendetta with the prince. Hi, please, come out clear. Let's know where you are going. Even me, I'm beginning to suspect him. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Because you are beginning to behave like one who is dragging the throne with the young man. Suspect me or not, this kingdom needs someone of my caliber to rule it. Okay. Caliber. Mm -hmm. Finally, you are out of your shell. But let me remind you. That young man was chosen by the gods to rule this great kingdom. The reason, we don't know. And you will not tell us that you do not know that the gods are hearing what he is saying about not marrying. Why don't you allow the gods to do their work? Since there's nothing we can do. Oh no, oh dear, you missed the mark. Of course you have a standing solution. Bridges, no, tell us. What are you doing here? Are you stalking me? I found out you are lost in after our boss, Prince Daniel. Which was the reason you did not proofread that document before taking it to him. And I believe you saw my memo inside. And then you grabbed the opportunity. Now you listen to me. If you wish to continue working there, you'll be sharing your salary with me. 50-50. Ruth, Ruth, I will advise you to go back to that your baba that did the charms for you. Go and tell him that he is still learning. So if I tell you that me, Angel, will, sh will share my salary with you, you believe? Are you okay? Wake up from your dreams, baby girl. <laughs> Ruth, girl. I think you feel like you're so brave. But I'll show you the other side of me. Hey! Hold it there. Don't you dare cross the lines. Don't you ever in your life threaten me. Don't you ever. And stop following me about. Stop stalking me. You know what I can do, right? You know what I can do. Be warned. Come on, disappear. Fool. You will hear from me. Look at this little girl. to a reputable school. I must commend your good grades. 
and also good experiences. Um, not to worry, you just leave. My secretary will fix a date for your appointment and she'll call you in that regard. Thank you, sir. I... I have to... Do have a good day. Senses at all? You want to initiate the Ukumbe process? Abomination. abomination! What is abomination about ah. it? So, you mean you want to sacrifice 14 virgin maidens of this community? And 10 strangers? Men? Of course, since the prince does not want to do the needful. Hey. Hello? Are you going to lead the process? Hey. Over my dead body will that happen? Oh no, did you just say over your dead body? Will you lead the Ukumbe process? You heard it. Never you say never. Because it is not over until it is over. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this evil man. Look at him. Look at Double him. Double it. No, no. Come and sacrifice the entire kingdom. Caliber. We sacrifice everybody. Evil man. No sense. Hey! Ha ha. What has come over him? I don't know. Allah. You mean you had such a dream? Girl, I was scared. It, have you ever had a dream that felt so real? It felt like it was, it was happening. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I was scared to my bones. This is serious. <sighs> have you confronted him? How? What am I supposed to say to him? You want to kill? Come on. That would be a very big accusation, especially without evidence. Evidence? Uh-huh. What do you mean by evidence? What about a dream? And who takes a dream as an evidence? What are you saying? My point is, you have to confront him. Hmm. Courtes, ritualists, all of them, they get scared once they know they are being suspected. Are you sure? Very sure. You see, I am scared. <sighs> Babes, with the way you're talking, you're also scaring me, so calm down. You cannot be scared. See, see. You will not ask it as a question. You just throw it to him. I have this, I have this strong feeling that one of the rules in their confraternity, their ritual thing, is that once their wife gives birth, they should disassociate themselves with her. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how did you feel after that uh, encounter? <laughs> I felt good. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it from your voice. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You know what? What's that? I will want you to sing another beautiful, charming, romantic, and a special song to me. Please do that for me. Okay. Mm. The meaning of my life It's for the one I love He's always in my dreams mm. He's my fantasy The moment I saw you Yeah, that is it! <laughs> that is it! The moment you saw me, I love that one! Stop. I have been waiting for that, yeah! <laughs> The moment stop you saw me, that. I said, tell me what happened the moment you saw me. Stop that, stop. Come tell on. me, come on. 
I fell for you. Ah! <laughs> I know it. I know it because I saw it in your eyes. Stop! <laughs> I would stop. Stop that you're always making me act out of character. Stop! Don't you like it? I like? I know. <laughs> So, when are we going for boat cruise? Next weekend. Ah, uh, next weekend. I want you to be precise. Friday or Saturday? I think Saturday. Say it romantically. Saturday. Good. A deal. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. Those urchins, those fools, those bastards insulted me. They insulted me as if I am in their class. Well, I don't blame them. I blame myself for attending that cheap meetings just to see if they can listen to the voice of reasoning. Huh? Father, you are the one that Atakata, as the prince's personal guard, I want to know, have you been talking to him on the dangers of his not getting married and ascending his father's throne? Yes, Your Majesty. I have. Uh, Your Majesty, I believe you know your son better than I do. The prince has a very determined mind. When once he sets out on a course of action, he follows it to the latter. Uh, but your majesty, that does not mean I will give up. I will keep trying. Thank you, Atakata. I want to ask you again, as the keeper of the palace secrets, is there anything he has told you that you want to share with me regarding the same subject matter? Chichi, leave us. Okay, my to be on my way now, okay? And where do you think you're going? Home, of course. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Remember I told you I prepared something before you said we should hang out? And that meal is not something I can finish alone. I don't have any plans of eating it tomorrow. I have another plan. So, so what are you insinuating? That you follow me inside and eat. It's going to be a quick one, don't worry. Women. <laughs> good like that. All right. Let's go. I never knew there was an option like this. But father, the question yet to be answered is, will he wants to do it? You see, human being is always difficult to handle. Exactly. Mostly this, oh no. I mean, it's hard not to crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, son, when the knot becomes too hard to crack with the use of stone, 
then you have no option than to employ iron. Come on, don't worry. Your father is an uncrackable nut. <laughs> well, well, father, I also want you to know that I am with you. I mean, I'm going to do everything to ensure that he will do it at all costs. That is the spirit. Mm -hmm. That is the spirit, son. But I'm going to speak to him one more time diplomatically. And if he refuses, then I will own small cinema for him to watch. <laughs> Father, is there any need of flogging a dead horse? I mean, why not dive into action and do what you're supposed to do? No. Life is one step at a time. Hmm? Well, I'm learning that from you. A sumo dead there. Eh? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Father, I am beginning to get seriously worried. Worried about what? I am worried about the prince. And what about the prince? Some minutes ago in my presence, the queen asked Atakata if the prince has told him the reason he has refused to get married. And, and what did Atakata say? <laughs> Of course, he said nothing. I believe he didn't want to speak in my presence and that made the queen ask me to leave. <laughs> this is serious. Does it mean Atakata knows something about the prince that no one in the kingdom knows? I don't know. But my problem is, why did he not speak in my presence? Atakata, the son of Omwe Mary, chose not to speak in your presence because I am aware that you are a maiden with an unbridled tongue. You talk too much. You do nothing in this palace but gossip. What is your problem? So if I had opened my mouth, to say anything about the prince. Things that are seriously considered sacred. An idiot like you would have carried them out of this palace to spread in the kingdom. I am totally disappointed at you. I am disappointed. And let me tell you, both of you, I am warning you. If you know you love your jobs, if you know you want to continue staying in this palace, mind yourselves. Be careful. Concentrate on your jobs. Else, I will not hesitate to throw you people out of this palace. I will see to it. I am talking and you have the gods to be Dangling your face up and down. My eyes are on you. Why did you leave this door open? Are you the one that left the door open? Why are you still talking? Gift. <sighs> oh no. So Hi, how did the meeting with the elders go? It was not rosy at all. It can never be rosy as long as it concerns the kingdom. But what is the outcome? Ichi Jude already resorted for Ikumbe rituals. What? <laughs> Please, you and the other elders must stop him. I can only speak for myself. I'm a noble Ichi of this kingdom. And I uphold the truth at all times. Both of us know how influential Jude is. I don't know what will happen when he starts using his money in bulk. I don't know. 
Oh no. Are you saying you can be bought? No, 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 no. I'm not speaking about myself. I'm talking about my co-elders. My queen. Iron can melt when put in a furnace. Remember? My queen, please, talk to your son. Honestly, I don't understand the kind of woman being that director is. Why? What do you mean? When he was asking me questions, his eyes were either on my credentials or his laptop. He did not even look at me at all. I was surprised. Hmm. That's serious. Are, are you serious? Yes. Actually, this is the first time I've seen a man that is in the same space as I am. Business oriented and nothing more. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> are you sure? Like, why do you care? Are you sure you're not falling in love with him? Don't be stupid. <laughs> What's the meaning of that? I I'm only saying that that's the kind of boss I would like to have. <laughs> Strictly business oriented. Why are you so excited you're talking about him? Anyway, tell me something. Is he handsome? Cute? Is he muscular? Like his complexion? Uh, uh, Laura, please. Tell me, is he dark or fair? In Laura, please! At this point, I am done with this conversation because you're sounding like a broken record. <sighs> so can we stop it? The guy fine. If I slap you, <laughs> go and submit your own CV if you want to know. Come on now, you know I like them dark, is it dark? Jesus, you're so unbelievable! Muscular, broad shoulder. God! This finger long. Go away! So this is how I would have lost my job today. Ha! Huh. Thank the gods, nothing like this happened. What would I have done? Like, what would I have told my mother in the village? But come to think of it, I did nothing wrong. Yes! I was only looking out for my master. The same master you feel you were looking out for would have sent you out of the palace with a blanket. But what did I do wrong? A wise man is always prudent in his dispositions. But a fool speaks with an unbridled tongue. Prudence and wisdom are great virtues. Apply them if you really want to continue working in this palace. Atakata, the son of Onwe Mary, came in here to give you his wise counsel. Do not say you were not warned. Son, you have to listen to the voice of reason. This is as important as your father's business. Mom, I've made my stand and I'm not going back on it. I do not intend to get married. Is that too hard for you to understand? Don't you know what is at stake? Don't you have empathy for your own people? Mom, my queen, let your people know that I have a life to live as an individual. You are not just any individual. You are the king's son, the future ruler of this kingdom. Therefore, you have to see everyone in this kingdom as your child. At the detriment of my own happiness. Yes, at the detriment of your happiness. 
Your father did the same thing. I am not my father. I am Prince Daniel. If the elders cannot find an alternative to this, they can as well wait until I age and die before they can have a king. Ikumbe has been suggested. And what the hell is Ikumbe? It is a ritual exercise. Where the Onowu will lead the ceremony where the heads of 14 virgin maidens of this kingdom will be sacrificed together with 10 heads of male strangers living in this kingdom just to successfully move the throne from this house. And who suggested such a barbaric idea? The question is, will you be able to live with that guilt for the rest of your life? Thanks for the food in advance. <laughs> You're welcome. Taste of your food. It's second to none. You keep flattering me anytime you eat from my pot. I can flatter a beautiful woman like you. So tell me, who taught you how to cook? My late mother taught me. Mm. Her name must be in the Guinness Book of Record as the best cook <laughs> in the whole world. You can say that again? Uh-huh. Hope you know how to cook. Because one day you will cook for me to eat. <laughs> and I bet you, when, when I, I cook, cook for you, uh -huh. you ask me of my recipe. I you never use that of your mom. <laughs> no way, no. <laughs> Don't challenge me. I will surprise you. I can't wait for that day. I can't. Oh, really? mm. Okay. okay. I will surprise, surprise you. Mm? Mm. Take. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't be like that. Stop. All right. Don't worry. Take this. Oh, come on. Take it. Look at you. <laughs> okay. Take. I'm not like you, just take. Don't try anything funny. Mm -mm. Don't try anything mm -mm. funny. I'm not. Don't. Mm -mm. I'm not like you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Vivian. Thank you. Thank you for the meal. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoyed it. <laughs> You're welcome. The taste so nice. You're welcome. Anything for you. But remember you promised to cook a delicious meal for me someday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I wow you that very day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually waiting for that day. I will surprise you. <laughs> so is there any other thing you want? Or anything I can offer you? Oh. <laughs> I will want to rest my head in your bosom and feel so good. <laughs> mm. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That is all. That is all. Come here. Come here, Mama. Anything for you? Come on, come. Come rest. Ow. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind my shoe. It's fine. All right. Anything for you. You know the right? Mm. <laughs> this. This is heaven on earth. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can say that again. I like your body. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to sing a love song for me. A love song that can put me to sleep. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Okay, you are not alone. Mm. I am here with you. I draw you far apart. You're losing my heart. We should knock and the door will be open. Wherever they have tied my family, my husband, wherever they have said that we shall not live according to your riches and glory. Father, one Lord, we send the Holy Ghost fire into the abyss right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, send your Holy Ghost fire to them right now. Send your Holy Ghost fire to them. You said whatever is loose here on earth is loosed in heaven. Whatever is bound here on earth is bound in heaven. Father, I send your Holy Ghost fire. I send Send your fire to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall restore peace to my family. You shall bring salvation. You shall bring happiness. You shall bring joy. You shall bring multiple blessings to this family. Oh, I lose my husband right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I call on your name. I have sent you all the days of my life. I have sent you from the north to the east to the west and to the south. Father, you shall bring glory glory to this family. You shall bring love back to this family. You shall bring peace back to this family. Oh, send your Holy Ghost fire to them right now. Send your Holy Ghost fire to them. You send whatever is loose here on
on earth is loose in heaven. Whatever is bound here on earth is bound in heaven. Father, I send your Holy Ghost fire. I send your fire to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall restore peace to my family. You shall bring salvation. You shall bring happiness. You shall bring joy. You shall bring multiple blessings to this family. Oh, I lose my husband right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I call on your name. I have sent you all the days of my life. Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Lord Jesus, I call upon you. Jesus! How dare you destruct the peace? How dare you? Zampoto Great Zampoto We your subjects are here before you to collect strength because your strength is made perfect in our weakness We are calling you at this odd hour of the night when the great wolves hunt, answer us. Fill us with strength and might as usual. Because the battle ahead of us is fierce. But with you on our side, victory is sure. Jay Jude, the watch do I owe this auspicious, unannounced visit? Simple. You see, like you know, there's no need for long sermon at the church evening service. So I'm going to go straight to the point to save our time. Hmm? You see, I am a man of timber and caliber. A man that considers people before doing anything. I am also a man of... Don't you think you're deviating? 
Time is running faster than expected. I want you to step down. I don't know the option you may consider. Killing yourself? Or tell Ono who to lead the Ikumbe procession. <laughs> you see men like you that wag their tongue so much end up like puppet. Now if you convert this energy to business, you will become the richest man in this state. Think about it. When a child falls in the river, the sound generated send him ashore. Be careful with your choice of what young man. And when an adult underestimates the power of a child, the end of the tunnel becomes dark. To have a good day, it's a good. God! Open the gate. The drone is vacant, vacant for long. We need the right person to ascend the throne. The wicked want the throne by all means. The wicked need the crown at all costs. We need a king so that the angel of the curse will not come upon us. Would you at least listen to what I have to say? Leave me alone! Ta Leave me alone! Diamond, what is it? Can you listen to... Diamond, I have... Just, please, at least... Can you at least have your breakfast? I took my time to make it this morning. Let me just rush you to the kitchen and serve it, please. Woman, leave my way and I, I, I'm late to work. Diamond. Leave me out! Diamond, please. I'm, I'm begging you, even if you would not touch me, if you won't sleep with me, I, at least eat my food. Woman, I do not want to eat your food. Not today, not tomorrow, and not ever. Come on. Uh -uh. Hold on a minute. Why are you forcing me to eat your food? Did you poison your food? Diamond, what is it? What exactly have I done to you? Why are you treating me this way? What have I done? I have stayed in this house despite being treated with so much contempt. Yet you, you wouldn't treat me right. What is wrong with you? You are wrong with me. You, Mirabel, you are wrong with me. Stay away from me. Is this too hard to ask? It is too hard to ask. I am tired. Broken. What is going on with you? I am asking, please. What have I done wrong? This is not you. Are you, are you a ritualist? Dude. You are yet to tell me your real reason for this visit. Hmm? Please, stop these proverbs for now. <laughs> uh, no. I am here to have a peaceful talk with my old friend, the Ono of our kingdom. <laughs> friend, you said? Huh? What is this negotiation? You see, we ought not to be at war or in disagreement. But diplomatical about everything and everyone will be happy. Jude, what do you want? Simple. Lead all the ritual ceremony that will usher in a new king. I don't go back to my vomit. Over my dead body will I do that? Oh no. I am offering you a millionaire and a plot of land to go ahead and do that. Get out of my house this minute. <laughs> okay, maybe you want me to increase it. 
2 million naira, a car, and a plot of land. I said, get out! You're ordering me out of your house? No problem, I will leave. But know that I've been diplomatic about the whole thing. Henceforth, watch your back. Angel. Sir. What's wrong with you? Nothing, sir. What did you say? Now take that file and walk on them immediately. Come to my office, please. Right away. Thank you. Brother, from the way you sounded, diplomacy is not working. Yes, I was embarrassed, but. My movement was not totally in vain. It would be pleasant that uh, I didn't give both the prince and Ono the benefit of doubt. So, are you saying we should go ahead and carry out the heat? Not yet. Soon. Soon is the deal then. I am working on something. When they mature, I will bring you up to speed. I want you to know that I am ever ready. In fact, I have my own plans. <laughs> What's the plan? Father, you know I can do anything for you. So leave the plan for me. <laughs> ah. Uncle, I don't know. Sincerely, I, I don't know what I have done to him. I don't know why he has been treating me this way. He has... <sighs> yes, Uncle. I have tried severally. 
I have tried to have a conversation with him. He wouldn't say anything. He hasn't said if I've done anything wrong. He just keeps pushing me away. He doesn't even... He hasn't given me any reason. Come on, Uncle. How? I would never treat my husband that way. I... I love him very much. I would never think of cheating on him, let alone executing it. <laughs> it's been one year. You know, I... I didn't want to talk to anybody about it because I, I, I thought he was going to come around, but uncle, it's getting worse. I am tired. I. <laughs> okay. Okay, uncle, I'll, I'll wait for your call. Thank you very much. Thank you. God. This pressure has really got into you, bro. Yeah. I mean, my house has become hell. As every day comes with its own drama. We know all of these are happening because you've refused to do the right thing. That's by the way. I call you here because the contract I've always dreamt of. It's finally here. Yeah. I mean, a contract so big that my father always wished for but never had. So, so what do you want from me? Fresh ideas. You see, I believe fresh ideas come from a fresh mind. Of course, you know how, how unstable my mind is right now. Look. Say that thing to stop deceiving you. You know, this office thing is it's never my thing. But uh, surely I have one good advice that might help. Good. That's why I invited you here. Oh. You follow me to a place, you know? A place where you relax and calm your nerves. That doesn't sound nice. You know, it might not sound good, but it will help. Trust me. You know, I cannot deceive you. This is my wife. What about her? She constitutes a nuisance. I am no longer happy in my house. That is from one problem to another. Her nagging attitude is becoming something else. I am tired. <clears throat> Have you tried having a conversation with her? You can only have a decent conversation with someone that is mentally balanced. What do you mean by that? 
Kau change topik. Sure. Why don't you go back with that, freshen up, and get ready for a special trip? That sounds good. I wonder how this place is supposed to be helpful when it's actually making things worse. I'm supposed to be resourceful right now in the office, but instead I'm sitting here and wasting my time. Courtesy of you. Look, this place is supposed to help you if you would stop complaining and obey the rules. What silly rules are you talking about? Look, the rules are not silly. All you need to do is take a drink and then you'll be shocked the kind of inspiration you'll be filled with. Oh, my God. Now, raise the place. Can you drink up so we can leave this place immediately? Not so fast. Tell me again. What is the problem? What is your problem? I'm trying to source fresh ideas for this... Um dream contract of mine now the company that is issuing this contract do not expect less from me i've tried so hard to dive into the future to, to achieve fresh ideas but it's just not working it's not really <clears throat> you know this is serious but what kind of contract is that when one gets stuck in future, the past and present becomes the final arbiter, the business art of war. <clears throat> and what's that supposed to mean, young lady? <laughs> Are you a dummy in business? A measure of the past and present strategies brings about a formidable future win. Extraordinary tools to urban business management by Stanley. Look out to your past and present contract strategies. Combining it will bring about something no one can stand except you are an amateur in business. That was that was actually deep. <laughs> it seems this your idea is actually working. I told you it's <laughs> magical. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, well uh, thank you very much for that insight, young lady. Do not celebrate when you are yet to win. Ah, uh, what's your name? Don't get it twisted. I I just want to let you know that my company is actually hiring just in case you need a job. Don't stress yourself. I'm already waiting for a job interview from a company I wish to work with. I don't wish you bad. Uh, but I'm just saying, just in case that company does not hire you, I want you to know that Horus Group of Company is actually open for you any day, any time. The director of Horus Group. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were the one. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, have we met, young lady? Yes, sir. The man that was so interested in the credential than the face. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still waiting for your secretary to call me for the interview. Really? Yes, sir. Small world. What's your name? My name is Daniela Duke. Well, Daniela Duke, I want you to know that you will hear from me soon. 
All right? Okay, sir. Once again, thanks a lot for the insight. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ah. If you had a drink with a chest. I think now I have a drink. Mm -hmm. How would you allow him walk out of the house without answering your question? You see, he hasn't gotten to the point of you raising your voice. Calm down. Take it easy. It's, it's that calm down. You're asking me to calm down. I should calm down. If, if not that you are an adult, I would have whooped your ass like a child. I should calm down. In your own words, you said when you asked him the question, he was shocked. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's a sign? A sign that he's guilty as charged. You see, I'm just trying to be prudent with everything I am doing. Prudent? Yes. The, the one who they vex me say, you see, they speak English. You're the young grammar for the matter. For this matter. Really? Prudent. <laughs> My friendship, I just hope and pray that prudence doesn't lead you to your early grave. God forbid. You better say that again. Say it. It, ha it hasn't gotten to going to the grave and somebody dying. Why? You it has! It has. It has. Ha. Ah. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Okay, please help me find some this thing. A man beats up his wife just because she said, darling, come and eat. Honey, come and make love to me. You think it's normal? You think it's normal? Listen, in as much as I'm not happy, this, what I share with my husband is for better, for worse. Ah. Yes. It's not like I, I'm, I'm happy with everything going on, but I can't just leave until I know what is going on. I have to understand what is happening. Hey, this one is deep. Aremiti la. Otiku oti la. Please, oh, auntie, ma, what is your consolation? I have placed a call across to his uncle. Yes, to have a talk with him, and I'm... I'm hoping things will get better after the call. And then I could also find out what the problem is. Ah, this girl. I feel like flogging you, I swear. A little marrying mommy. You need to be flogged. Uncle, what has Uncle got to do in this matter? Hey! Lady Law, Mogbe Jadi, Mogbe Sa. Something is supposed to stand your ground before this matter goes south. You're involving Uncle. Ah, ah, no, go hear me. What is wrong with you? I'll be fine. Daga, that's boss. Take a, take a look at it. Bros, trust me to deliver this one. For real. Daga, I want you to do a total package. Be at your maximum. In there are necessary information that you need to do the ghost follow up. No second boss. You see this one? I don't deliver and finish. No separate me. Good. Eh? Good. Daga. Leave no trace. Okay. So, boss, when are we running this shit? I'll call you. I'll call you as usual, okay? Okay. All right. No one. Hmm? Hey, Claire 
out for my girl. <laughs> Sabi girl. Sabi girl, don't do like this. My fine girl now. <laughs> the hottest girl in town. Honestly, I don't understand. Well, don't you understand? I'm here to start work. He says I should wait for the interview. Mm -hmm. So you wait. Let me go for the interview and come out successful. No, 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 no. Babe, what are you saying? As long as Moa is concerned, you are already a staff of Horace Group of Complain. <laughs> Babe, you gave him an idea and he just bought it. He hasn't authorized it yet. I don't even know if he's going to work for that kind of contract he was talking about. If so, so work for it. Hmm? Let's cheers to your new job. Come on, drink up and stop talking. Let's celebrate. See, <laughs> I, I don't even get it. It yeah. seems like it seems like a movie. I don't even know when I started speaking. As if I was pushed by something. As if I was controlled by by something. It's okay, smart ass. I know. Mm? I know. Just calm down with the pride. <laughs> Babe, they didn't baffle me. You gave him an idea and he just responded. He just bought it. I never knew he would respond to your ideas. Babe, forget all this long matter. Cheers to a new job. A new beginning. Cheers to the so. smart I ass. Hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Don't worry, when you get there, you will collect his job. His eye will clear. I don't like you. I said wait for the interview. What interview? You are employed already. Please stop it. Let's let's celebrate. Let's jubilate for my smart ass. The smartest girl. But my babe, um, one thing is remaining, you know. Which is what's that? Husband. I think I've done with this nonsense. Hmm? <laughs> are you serious? Come on, stop it. Let's celebrate. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By now looking at him, you will know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing! I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why, 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 why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? What if you not treated? Just to see this video, I will lose my job. I will lose my job. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ruth, 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 you can do this to me, please. You can do this to me. Ruth, please speak your call, please. Please, 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 please speak. Please. Ah. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Um, Ruth, Ruth, please. I am sorry. I am sorry, Pico. See. I know I've been so stubborn all this while. See, I am ready to do whatever you wish. Please. 
Ruth, please, don't call the call. Don't call the call, please. Hey, my friend, who are you? You're pointing a gun at me? My friend, will you get that thing off my face and get out of the way so I can get into my car? Please, Olga, if I hear any word from you again, I'll make your exit very painful. My friend, will you get that thing off my face right now? Enter this car right now! My friend, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that! Don't, don't, don't do that! Who did I offend that wants me dead? The kind of dreams I have these days are scary. Does this have to do with a throne or there is more to it? I, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried sick about my husband. I have not seen or heard from him since he left for the office. Yes. I have been calling. Initially he wasn't picking up. Now the phone is switched off completely. <sighs> Can you just stop joking right now? You expect me to go to bed when I haven't seen my husband? I what if something has happened to him? Missy, you know you're not helping at this point. You know what? Good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Couldn't have been saying the truth. I mean, Diamond always he comes back home every day. I, I am sorry for coming back by this time of the night, my love. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm not upset. I was just worried that your phones were switched off, that's all. Please. No, 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 no. My love, please. Allow me to apologize to you. My boss sent me to a rural area, and I'll get him there. There was no light, no network. I had a flat battery. And I didn't travel with my power bank to power my phone up. I am sorry. Please, find a place in your beautiful heart to forgive me. 
please. You are just a big baby. You don't have to. <laughs> you know what? Stand up. It's okay. It's fine. Listen, I'm not upset, okay? I'm happy you're back home and back in my arms. You didn't have to go down on your knee to apologize. I'm sorry. But I want to make a promise to you. I will never sleep out again. No matter the situation, I must surely come back home. If there's any need for me to travel out of this city, trust me, she must go with me. <laughs> My goodness, your mother spoiled you silly. Come here. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I made something. I don't know, it's quite late. I don't know if you would want to eat. Are you the one asking this question? A food? Yes. Prepared by my sweetest angel. <laughs> come on, I must eat the food. Okay, come. You just go upstairs. Okay. Have a rest. Mm -hmm. And then you come back. God. What is going on in my marriage? He has broken all the promises he made to me. God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. The restorer of things. Even if my husband has sold his hands in something evil, you have the power to bring him out of such devilish thing. Help me, Lord, for I am depending on your strength to survive. I want to uphold the prize of for better or worse. Help me, for I am losing strength. What is going on, gods of our ancestors? I know that you can see and hear me even in this odd hour of the night when I'm supposed to be resting my head. But how can the lion sleep when the jungle is in disarray? How can I stay in a place when the God is about to deliver in Tertius? Gods of our lands, why did you appoint him to be the king of this great kingdom? when you know that in his heart 
He has decided not to do the needful. The heart of the greatest man you can melt. Therefore, gods of our land, please come and work your miracle. The Ikumbe process has been suggested. Do you want your own to be sacrificed? Gods of our land, please come to our rescue. Please come. My prince, your highness, I know very well that I do not have any right to force you into revealing things that you don't want to. But I want you to understand that your mood is affecting the palace seriously. Your happiness brings peace and sanctity to this palace. My prince, Know it that whatever will be, will be. And at the appointed time of the gods, everything will return to normalcy. Worry not, my prince. Just have faith and trust, for they are great virtues. My prince, if there is anything, anything whatsoever that is a burden in your heart which you want to let off your heart, know that I'm here for you. Not just as a palace secret keeper, but as your humble and loyal servant. I pray the gods not to allow you to falter. Your Highness, I leave you in peace in the hands of the gods. There's no disputing fact that you are deeply troubled, judging from your countenance. Huh? No. I endured the pain of no love from the man that married me, that I had to transfer all the love meant for him to the prince. Now seeing that the prince is in their trouble kills me gradually. Your Majesty, we need to keep admonishing him. Hmm? It's not over until it is over. I have been having these strange dreams lately. I see the prince being killed by hoodlums. It is no more a dream, it is more like a vision. And there is nothing I can do because the prince has refused to listen to anybody. I thought I was the only one having strange dreams. Oh. You have been dreaming too? Yes. I have been seeing this great kingdom hit with great plague, taking so many lives 
all because of Prince's refusal to do the needful. Hey. Oh no, this is really bad. Uh, what do we do? Uh, do we consult a seer? Oh. There is no need going to inquire about what is eating the bitter leaf when the thing that is eating the bitter leaf is staring at us in the face. Uh, oh no, so, so what do we do then? Huh? I took an oath to protect the great people of this kingdom. I pray the day they will come to persuade me to lead the Ikumbe ritual will not come soon. At this rate, my hands are tight. You're welcome, darling. Good morning. I was, um... Good morning. I, um... I, I, I was up all night waiting for you to... I, um... I, I tried to reach you, but your phone was turned off. What happened? I was worried sick about you. Is that why you accosted me? Wait a minute. You mean it was a deliberate act? Of course! It was a deliberate act. And what can you do about it? Of course I would do nothing about it, but you need to tell me why you got me worried sick. I was out here all night waiting for you to return and... You were somewhere. I mean, God knows where, having fun. And you're asking me what I am going to do about... Diamond, what is wrong? What is wrong with you, for goodness sake? Are you expecting me? To answer this question. Yes. You will answer me because I am your wife. I am sick and tired of this. Listen, you need to explain to me exactly where you were last night. Do not push me. Because I wouldn't want you to incur my wrath. Don't! Okay? Oh, well, let me see you. Because you're... Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Jesus! Are you stupid? Don't! Abomination are you talking about? Oh no, you see him. Eh. You see him, oh. Which abomination did he commit? Oh no, you see him did not commit any abomination. Rather, abomination was committed on him. And then tell me exactly what happened. Oh no, eh? I was coming from the bush when I saw some men kidnap him. Hey, 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 what? Hey, oh no. where did this happen? Oh no, the the, the road that leads to Nkwa Market. Hey, 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 oh. abomination. Oh, hey, God, oh. God. Who did this man offend? Your Highness, I know very well that I do not have any right to force you into revealing things that you don't want to. But I want you to understand that your mood is affecting the palace seriously. Your happiness brings peace and sanctity to this palace. My prince, know it that whatever will be, will be. And at the appointed time of the gods, everything will return to normalcy. Worry not, my prince. Just have faith and trust, for they are great virtues.
Yes, Angel. All right, let her in. Yes, this is Prince Daniel. What? You mean I have the Donald and Duke's contract? Well, thank you very much, sir. I'll read through the terms and send every necessary document. Once again, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, thank you. I wish you were here. I wish we could celebrate this together. <laughs> yes, come in. Good day, sir. Welcome to Horus Group of company, Miss Daniela. Um, thank you, sir. I'm here for the interview I've scheduled. Yes, please sit. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So in here are the rules and regulations of this company, the terms and conditions of your job. Read through them carefully. Sir, I should study them before the interview. Well, Miss Daniela, your intellectual prayers have gotten you this job. I just got off the phone with the chairman of Donald and Duke's group of company, and I've just been awarded a contract I've always dreamt of. Cutsy, if your strategic advice. Which other interview will be as practical as that? So, if you're okay with our terms and conditions, you're going to be the director of our critical strategy department at this company. Thank you, sir. I must say congratulations. But you're welcome. Sir, what about the former director of the department? Well, that department never existed, as I just treated it for you. I've always managed my strategies. Miss Daniela? Um, thank you very much, sir. I'm going to study them carefully and get back to you as soon as possible. Very good. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. And welcome to our company. Thank you, sir. Good. <laughs> congratulations, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come in here, Angel. Honestly, I'm not in support of the Ikumbe ritual. And why do you say so, Gilgit? Because it's going to take the lives of 14 female virgins of this land and 10 male strangers. And so, if that is going to solve the problem, then let them do it. Adaijia, let them perform the sacrifice so that everyone will be at peace. Hey, hey. Huh? The gods forbid. If that should happen, I might be part of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Are you a virgin? Of course I'm a virgin. <laughs> Gift. Gift. Come on. Why not give yourself to a man? Even the palace guard. Let them disveggie you so that you will enjoy what Ada and I are enjoying. And run away from being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. I reject it. <laughs> I can never do that. I'm going to keep myself for my husband. Oh, oh. So we are bad ones now, right? We are bad eggs. Of course, you urchins are the bad people we have in this palace. Look at them. Women of easy virtue. 
urchins. You think you are enjoying, unknown to you that you are destroying your lives. Must you people open your legs for every idiot that crosses your path? You are here advising someone that has chosen the right path to join you in your evil path of destruction. Shame on both of you. Shame on you. I just pray that the gods does not visit you people with their wrath. Else, you will cry had I known. You are destroying your future and you call it enjoyment. Something that is considered abomination. How can maidens like you who are not yet married be talking about sexuality? I am disappointed. Gift, continue on the path which you have chosen for yourself. For it is the right path. I pray that the gods bless you with the blessing that is meant for people who actually kept their virginity for their husbands. Mm. I leave you with the peace of the gods. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> peace. <laughs> peace is peace about me. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? Right now, looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing! I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why would why, why, why I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have you not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell bent on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? You had a nerve to arrest my young brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You said that my brother, Frank here, killed my own husband. Your own foolish man. What? Useless man! I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. How are you doing, big boy? Oh, wonderful. I'm almost done with the delicacy I'm preparing. Yeah, for the picnic. I hope you're ready for an adventure. <laughs> okay. I'll be waiting. No. The last time you visited here was during my inauguration as the Director General of this company. And I was in high spirit. Why are you seated like an examiner? What's going on? A man has just one sister. A virgin at that. Not yet married. Another man, wealthy, in the same place, has so many sisters, both married and unmarried. There's a problem in that community, and two options are available to solve the problem. The first one 
is for the man to sacrifice a certain breed of rams, of which he has so many rams. Or a girl will be so, of which he has so many sisters too. Instead of sacrificing the ram, he suggested that a girl be sold. He goes ahead further to suggest that that man's only sister be sold. If you are the final arbiter in this case, what will be your verdict? That man is a very selfish man. I should not be part of that community. As a matter of fact, 10 grams are to be collected from him and sacrificed. And five of his sisters sold. That's abject wickedness in the highest order. I think so too. But are you okay with that? Well, I don't understand. Ah. Prince Daniel, you are that selfish man. You have all that it takes to deliver this kingdom from the impending doom coming. Yet you care less about how the people of this kingdom feel and what becomes of them. Wow. No stop. If I should key into Ikumbe process. Don't you think that someone out of the 14 virgins that will be needed for that sacrifice could be someone's only sister? Or even someone's only child? Or the breadwinner of that family? How do you think such family will react to this? How do you think they will react? Stop. You're hurting my feelings. Prince Daniel, I also came to tell you that two of your Ichies, members of your cabinet, have been kidnapped. What? Yes. What did you say no? Stay away, your highness. Hey, hey, let me see, let me see. 
Hey. Babe, it's nothing. Oh, it's... My goodness. This is what you're trying to hide away from me. It's a small cut. I mean, I'll just let me wash it off and... No, 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 no. Small cut like this can be the most dangerous. Huh? What happened to you? I was cutting a vegetable to make the soup and then I, I mistakenly cut my hand. Ooh. With this? Yes. What are, what are you doing? Why are you putting the knife in your pocket? I'm going to dispose it. Nothing inflict injury on my wife and go scot free. Okay? Jesus. Listen. It's... Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have to go to the pharmacy right now. I have to get this treated. Honey, it's just a cut. I can actually just put salt I and water. I know. But I said no. Okay? Let's go. When we come back, I'll take up the picture. What? Are, right? you, are you serious? I am. Honey, it's just a small... Hey, 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 hey. Please, don't argue. Please. Goodness. Diamond just hissed and walked out on me. Not even a sign of remorse. He doesn't even feel my pain. The same man who used to care about me has suddenly turned into a beast. Shut up! Sorry, sir. Please, if there's any way I have offended you, I will find any way to make sure I apologize. Eh? I said shut up! Sir, yes, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. You only speak when you're asked to. Yes, sir. And if I hear any word from your mouth again, mm. that will mark your end here and now. Mm. Do you know we are suffering in this kingdom? And if the right thing is not done, we are going to face another doom. And I believe you know that's why you and Ichie Ajuzie is part of that full skin uh, cabinet. Now, I heard the prince does not have marriage in his agenda. And Ichie Jude is doing everything possible to get things better in this kingdom. Why are you and that stupid Ichia Juzie not supporting Ichia Jude over this? Ichia Jude wants us to go the Ikumbe way. Yes. Uh -huh. It will only take a few minutes. Now I'm going to leave you with a task. Yes, sir. Ikenda. 
Anyone that sees you whistling and slicing this okra will think you're a good man. Ah. Atakata, is that supposed to be a compliment or what? Eh? Atakata, the son of Owe Mary, can never open his mouth to compliment an idiot like you. A two-faced man like you cannot be complimented by Ah, uh -uh, Atakata, what is it, Sevna? Eh? What is it? Oh, I see. It's like someone has provoked your side. Yes. So now you're not looking for who to throw the provocation on. But it's not me. Yes, it's not me because I'm busy. Uh-uh. What is it? It yes. is that busy that will kill you. You are busy doing what? Preparing fornication food, right? Is it it? You, you, you are busy. Atakata, what, what, what is that supposed to mean, Seth? Huh? Eh? See, I'm holding a knife, oh. What? what? How dare you threaten Atakata with an ordinary kitchen knife? Are you mad? Open your mouth one more time and say that nonsense and I will deal with you here and now. Are you stupid? Do you know who Atakata is? Does the name Atakata not send the message to you? Look at him. You enter this palace in the camouflage of a chef only to use the opportunity to exercise your nefarious activities. Atakata, I'm not feeling insulted. Yes. Are you in any way trying to tell me that I don't know how to cook? Or I've not Will you shut up your mouth? You dare tell me that you're not feeling insulted. That Atakata is insulting an idiot like you. Is that what you want to tell me? Is it because I'm still being lenient with you? Because I have not asked the guards to throw you out of this uh, palace. Uh, for what now? Eh? What have I done? Eh? Why will you throw me out just like that? For what? Ikenna, it is no longer news that you have been fornicating with all the maidens in this palace. As a matter of fact, you have been fornicating with all of them. In a whole, one by one. Ah! Atakata! Hmm? What fornication are you talking about now? Shut eh? up your mouth. Ah, what, 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 what maidens? Eh? Shut up your mouth, I'm still talking. Wait, you want to deny it? You have the guts to deny what I just said? Ikenna, do you want me to call Chichi to come and testify before you? No, no, uh -uh, Atakata. He hasn't, got, he hasn't gotten to that now. You're my man. Uh -uh. See, Atakata, let the royal household know hear this. Please, just keep this secret between you and I. And I promise you to never happen again. Yes. I promise. Let this be the last time you will open that your cursed mouth to call Atakata the son of Owe Berrien. The royal secret keeper of this palace, your man. Because I can never be a man to an idiot like you. Let it be registered in this your thick skull that the ego eyes of Atakata are on you. Atakata, I'm sorry now, please. Sorry for your generation. Atakata! This guy will not let me rest in this palace. Is his number not connecting? Hey, but he just called me a few minutes ago. Hello? Hey, oh no. Good morning. Sorry, I missed your call. I wasn't close to my phone. I trust you're good. What happened? What? Ichi Aham and Ichi Ajuze kidnapped. Hey! By who, Juan?
Hey, oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Yes. Oh no, well, you have to stay safe. Be very careful, please. Who could be doing this? Hmm. Oh no, well, please, please, you have to stay safe. Yes. Don't worry, I will call you back. Let me call the DPO first. Hey, it's okay. All right. What is going on? <laughs> Gods of our land, protect us. So. be this cold on a day like this. Remember the last time we had a preamble celebration of the job? Now that you have been given a bigger position, it is time for us to celebrate. Come on, don't tell me you are not in the mood to celebrate. Laura, I appreciate your presence and concern, but please, I'm not in the mood to celebrate. What do you mean? I won't have that crab. Let's go out and celebrate, please. Mm. Can you stop behaving like a child? Are you just noticing that when it comes to you that I am a child? Please, let's go and celebrate. Um, um, <laughs> Laura. Please, please. I've heard you. I've heard you. Don't start. Okay. Um, let me go change into something simple. You're looking good, but all right. Chop, 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 chop. Hurry it up. Up you go. Are you okay? Ella! Uh, Ella, what is wrong? Are you okay? Ella! Let's go to the hospital. Stand up, please. What do you mean you'll be fine? Ella, please, let me take you to hospital, please. Hey, Ella, let's go. Let me take you to hospital. Don't worry, don't worry, Laura. I'll be fine, Laura. I'm okay. There's no way I can be comfortable like this. Ay, 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 ay. Let me take you to hospital, please. Stand up. Stand up. Let's go. Let's go. My love, my love, my love, kids, kids, hey. what's going on, what's oh. going on, for days now you have been lost in thoughts, is there anything you're not telling me, because I'm bothered about your mood, I'm, I'm sorry my love for getting concerned, it's, it's just a mood swing, I promise I will get over it. You know I trust you, my love. Hmm? I hope you know you can tell me anything. I mean, whatever it is. Together we are both conquered. Hmm? And come on, I got you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like thank <it>? you. <laughs> See, Thanks. I love you to eternity. Nothing can separate us, okay? Lucky. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Yeah. Kids! 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 Hey! What's going on? You are lost in thought again? The food you put on fire, I just got burnt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my love. What's going on, eh? Please, please forgive me. I. I don't just know how to face my fears. That's because you're not telling me what the problem is. I'm your husband for God's sake. What bothers you bothers me as well. Huh? Together we can both fix it. I love you 
you so much. Come on, baby. You know I love you too. You know I love you very much. Huh? What's the problem? Just that. Just that I can't get you into this situation. Why? <laughs> Donald, Daniel, please, I am sorry. I am sorry for everything that happened. I want you both to forgive me. Some consolation. He can heal. Can heal this pain. Oh, oh God. God. Please heal this wound of mine. it in their hearts that I am deeply sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. God, God, I pray that you heal this wound and impress it in their hearts wherever they are oh god wherever they are that they will forgive me And the Chia Juzi have been kidnapped. Ah, uh, da. Who told you that? I just served the Queen Mother and I overheard her talking to Domino Wolfo. Who could have dared to do such a thing? I don't know. Ichia Ham, Ichia Juzi, and Ono are men of integrity. Could it be they countered Ichia Juzi's motion that made him kidnap them? What? Ada, don't you know that the walls have years? You must just say everything. This is how I feel now. Allow me to express myself. How you feel? The world. Mr. Joseph, my recent dream is about happening. What dream are you talking about this time? Say something. What are you talking about? I come to you, gods of our ancestors. I know you answer prayers no matter where you are called from. Your noble subjects, Iche Ajuzi and Aham, have been kidnapped by unknown men. But to you, they are known. Please, confuse their abductors and grant them safe release. 
They are noble elders who have brought peace and progress to this land through their words and deeds. Please, gods of our land, hear my plea and do not allow the enemy to prevail. Little by little, it's happening. I am gradually getting to my destination. And soonest, my plan towards him will become effective. But there's something about him that is not yet clear. I'll quietly get to that part of the story. I will. I will. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws' company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You oh, are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing! I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why, 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 why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have you not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you helping on making this house unbearable for him? My God, how did, how did Ruth get hold of this video? Oh, I'm finished. If the boss gets to see this video, I will lose my job. I will lose my job. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ruth, 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 you can do this to me, please. You can do this to me. Speak your cords. <sighs> Ruth, please, 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 please speak. Please. Ah. <laughs> I am sorry, Pico. See, I know I've been so stubborn all this while. See, I am ready to do whatever you wish. Please. Ruth, please, don't call the call. Don't call the call, please.
Hey, my friend, who are you? You're pointing a gun at me. My friend, will you get that thing off my face and get out of the way so I can get into my car? Hey, Songa, if I hear any word from me again, I'll make your exit very painful. My friend, will you get that thing off my face right now? Enter this car right now! My friend, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that! Don't, don't, don't do that! Who did I offend that wants me dead? The kind of dreams I have these days are scary. Does this have to do with a throne or there is more to it? I, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried sick about my husband. I have not seen or heard from him since he left for the office. Yes. I have been calling. Initially he wasn't picking up. Now the phone is switched off completely. <sighs> Can you just stop joking right now? You expect me to go to bed when I haven't seen my husband? I what if something has happened to him? Missy, you know you're not helping at this point. You know what? Good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Couldn't have been saying the truth. I mean, Diamond always he comes back home every day. I, I am sorry for coming back by this time of the night, my love. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm not upset. I was just worried that your phones were switched off, that's all. Please. No, 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 no. My love, please. Allow me to apologize to you. My boss sent me to a rural area, and I'll get in there. There was no light, no network. I had a flat battery. And I didn't travel with my power bank to power my phone up. I am sorry. Please, find a place in your beautiful heart to forgive me, please. You are just a big baby. You don't have to. <laughs> you know what? Stand up, it's okay. It's fine. <sighs> Listen, I'm not upset, okay? I'm happy you're back home and back in my arms. You didn't have to go down on your knee to apologize. I'm sorry. But I want to make a promise to you. I will never sleep out again. 
no matter the situation, I must surely come back home. If there's any need for me to travel out of this city, trust me, she must go with me. <laughs> My goodness, your mother spoiled you silly. Come here. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I made something. I don't know, it's quite late. I don't know if you would want to eat. Are you the one asking this question? Food? Yes. Prepared by my sweetest angel. <laughs> come on, I must eat the food. Okay, come. You just go upstairs. Okay. Have a rest. Mm -hmm. And then you come back. God. What is going on in my marriage? He has broken all the promises he made to me. God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. The restorer of things. Even if my husband has sold his hands in something evil, you have the power to bring him out of such devilish thing. Help me, Lord, for I am depending on your strength to survive. I want to uphold the prize of for better or worse. Help me, for I am losing strength. What is going on, gods of our ancestors? I know that you can see and hear me even in this odd hour of the night when I'm supposed to be resting my head. But how can the lion sleep when the jungle is in disarray? How can I stay in a place when the God is about to deliver in Tertius? Gods of our lands, why did you appoint him to be the king of this great kingdom? when you know that in his heart he has decided not to do the needful. The heart of the greatest man you can melt. Therefore, gods of our land, please, Come and walk your miracle. 
the Ikumbe process has been suggested. Do you want your own to be sacrificed? Gods of our land, please come to our rescue. Please come. My Prince, Your Highness, I know very well that I do not have any right to force you into revealing things that you don't want to. But I want you to understand that your mood is affecting the palace seriously. Your happiness brings peace and sanctity to this palace. My prince, know it that whatever will be, will be. And at the appointed time of the gods, everything will return to normalcy. Worry not, my prince. Just have faith and trust, for they are great virtues. My prince, if there is anything, anything whatsoever that is a burden in your heart, which you want to let off your heart, know that I'm here for you, not just as a palace secret keeper, but as your humble and loyal servant. I pray the gods not to allow you to falter. Your Highness, I leave you in peace in the hands of the gods. There is no dispute in fact that you are deeply troubled, judging from your countenance. Huh? No. I endured the pain of no love from the man that married me, that I had to transfer all the love meant for him to the prince. Now seeing that the prince is in their trouble kills me gradually. Your Majesty, we need to keep admonishing him. Hmm? It's not over until it is over. I have been having these strange dreams lately. I see the prince being killed by hoodlums. It is no more a dream, it is more like a vision. And there is nothing I can do because the prince has refused to listen to anybody. I thought I was the only one having strange dreams. Oh. You have been dreaming too? Yes. I have been seeing this great kingdom hit with great plague, taking so many lives, all because of Prince's refusal to do the needful. Hey. No, oh, no, this is really bad. Uh, what do we do? Uh, do we consult a seer? Oh. There is no need going to inquire but what is eating the bitter leaf? When the thing that is eating the bitter leaf is tearing at us in the face. Uh, oh no, so, so what do we do then? 
Hmm? I took an oath to protect the great people of this kingdom. I pray the day they will come to persuade me to lead the Ikumbe ritual will not come soon. At this rate, my hands are tight. You're welcome, darling. Good morning. I was, um... Good morning. I, um... I, I, I was up all night waiting for you to... I, um... I, I tried to reach you, but your phone was turned off. What happened? I was worried sick about you. Is that why you accosted me? Wait a minute. You mean it was a deliberate act? Of course! It was a deliberate act. And what can you do about it? Of course I would do nothing about it, but you need to tell me why you got me worried sick. I was out here all night waiting for you to return and... You were somewhere, I mean, God knows where, having fun. And you're asking me what I am going to do about... Diamond, what is wrong? What is wrong with you, for goodness sake? Are you expecting me? To answer this question. Yes. You will answer me because I am your wife. I am sick and tired of this. Listen, you need to explain to me exactly where you were last night. Do not push me. Because I wouldn't want you to incur my wrath. Don't! Okay? Oh, well, let me see you. you because you're you ah! stupid. Jesus! Are you stupid? Don't! Abomination are you talking about? Oh no, you see him. Eh. You see him, oh. Which abomination did he commit? Oh no, you see him did not commit any abomination. Rather, abomination was committed on him. And then tell me exactly what happened. Oh no, eh? I was coming from the bush when I saw some men kidnap him. Hey! 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 What? Hey! Oh no. Where did this happen? Oh no, the, the, the road that leads to Nkwa Market. Hey! 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 Oh. Abomination! Oh, hey, God, oh. God. Who did this man offend? Your Highness, I know very well that I do not have any right to force you into revealing things that you don't want to. But I want you to understand that your mood is affecting the palace seriously. Your happiness brings peace and sanctity to this palace. My prince, know it that whatever will be, will be. And at the appointed time of the gods, everything will return to normalcy. Worry not, my prince. Just have faith and trust, for they are great virtues. Yes, Angel. All right, let her in. Yes, this is Prince Daniel. What? You mean I have the Donald and Duke's 
contract? Well, thank you very much, sir. I'll read through the terms and send every necessary document. Once again, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Thought I had the contract. I wish you were here. I wish we could celebrate this together. <laughs> yes, come in. Good day, sir. Welcome to Horus Group of Company, Miss Daniela. Thank you, sir. I'm here for the interview I've scheduled. Yes, please sit. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So in here are the rules and regulations of this company, the terms and conditions of your job. Read through them carefully. Sir, I should study them before the interview. Well, Miss Daniela, your intellectual prayers have gotten you this job. I just got off the phone with the chairman of Donald and Duke's group of company, and I've just been awarded a contract I've always dreamt of. Cutsy, if your strategic advice, which other interview will be as practical as that. So, if you're okay with our terms and conditions, you're going to be the director of our critical strategy department at this company. Thank you, sir. I must say congratulations. But you're welcome. Sir, what about the former director of the department? Well, that department never existed as I just treated it for you. I've always managed my strategies. Miss Daniela? Um, thank you very much, sir. I'm going to study them carefully and get back to you as soon as possible. Very good. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. And welcome to our company. Thank you, sir. Good. <laughs> congratulations, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Come in here, Angel. Honestly, I'm not in support of the Ikumbe ritual. And why do you say so, Bridget? Because it's going to take the lives of 14 female virgins of this land and 10 male strangers. And so, if that is going to solve the problem, then let them do it. Adaijia, let them perform the sacrifice so that everyone will be at peace. Hey, hey. Huh? The gods forbid. If that should happen, I might be part of them. <laughs> Wait. Are you a virgin? Of course I'm a virgin. <laughs> Gift. Gift. Come on. Why not give yourself to a man? Even the palace guard. Let them this virgin so that you will enjoy what Ada and I are enjoying. And run away from being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. I reject it. I can never do that. I'm going to keep myself for my husband. Oh, oh. So we are bad ones now, right? We are bad eggs. Of course, you urchins are the bad people we have in this palace. Look at them. Women of easy virtue. Urchins. You think you are enjoying? Unknown to you that you are destroying your lives. Must you people open your legs for every idiot that crosses your path? You are here advising someone that has chosen the right path to join you in your evil path of destruction. Shame on both of you. Shame on you. 
I just pray that the gods does not visit you people with their wrath. Else, you will cry had I known. You are destroying your future and you call it enjoyment. Something that is considered abomination. How can maidens like you who are not yet married be talking about sexuality? I am disappointed. Gift, continue on the path which you have chosen for yourself. For it is the right path. I pray that the gods bless you with the blessing that is meant for people who actually kept their virginity for their husbands. Mm. I leave you with the peace of the gods. <laughs> Thank you. Peace. Peace is peace about me, Vigi. Told you. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? Right now, looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have you not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell bent on making this house unbearable for him? Have a wonderful day in life. <sighs> My dreaming. Is this a dream? What just happened? <sighs> oh, to God. I am finished. What is wrong with you, Are you okay? Doc, what is wrong with you? Danny, I blame you for everything that is happening to you right now. And why would you blame me for everything? Look, your decision of not wanting to get married right now is not a yastic for some old man to begin to toy you around like a puppet. I don't, I don't get it. Brace up like a priest that you are. And make this old man understand that you're the future ruler. Enough! Well, I'm just calm because I know they're speaking the truth. Their approach to this whole thing is, is unacceptable. It's totally wrong. Apart from royalty, you're a business tycoon. An internationally recognized figure. This man will not yet sit on the same row with you if you were meant to attend a function together. Don't you get it? Brace up and put this man in their places. Who's there? Who's there? The sky is over. Mm -mm. Voila. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> the sky is over. It's over now. <clears throat> what's, what's this? How are you? What is this? <coughs> are you are you drunk? What is this? Jesus. <coughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it. Mm. Who is that man? Hmm? It's, it's okay. Let's Who see. is this man? 
Let's go inside. Let's go. The sky is over. The sky is over now. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Don't touch me that way. Sorry. Don't touch me. Okay. Mind where you touch me. It's okay. Let's let's go. The sky is over. It's, it's di diamond, diamond, please just get a hold of yourself. Sky is over now. It's okay. Let's Come go. on, get out. Get out. It's okay. It's you get out. Yeah. You get out. We're almost there. You get out. Yes. <laughs> you get out. It's 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 this way. It's you this way. Out. It's here. It's here. You get out. It's here. Let's go. <laughs> What is really going on? What is happening to my husband? So Diamond has now resorted to drinking himself to stupor just because he is running away from performing his conjugal duties. But what could be his reason? Wait a minute. I think this is the best time to do it. Now that he's unaware of what is happening around him. Yes, I am going to satisfy this burning fire inside of me. I don't care. I don't care what his reasons might be.
What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this act? Well, this is not just an act. It's also a process. Dude! I have been too lenient with you. I've had enough of your insult and disrespect in this kingdom. When respect is no longer served, a wise man leaves the table. Now I have come to warn you to stay off my track and stop instigating the elders to do your ugly business. And you're bringing the war to me. Huh? This is not war. This is a fair warning. But the next time we meet like this, I do not know what the outcome will be. A lioness whose cubs are taken can be very, very dangerous. Don't say I did not warn you. <laughs> a puppy challenging a tiger. We shall sail to the end of this. Exactly, are you talking about? Why? Why are you screaming? What is it? Too many questions. I'll ask again. Did we have sex? No, we did not. You came back home drunk yesterday. You were sweating profusely, and you threw up on your own shirt. I had to take off your dress and clean you up. Wait a minute. Even if we had sex, was that supposed to be a problem? Yes. Why, why do you find me so detasteful? Mirabel, get out of my room. So, sorry, what did you say? I do not want to raise my voice. Please, get out of my room. Okay. Is he really a ritualist? What gods? What impetus? That little brat pointed a gun at me. Me, Chief Trude. That is the height of it. And I won't take it lightly with him. Of course, you will get triple portion of what he just did today. Ichi, you have to take it easy. Take it easy. Let's think about this thing. For it is said that when a chicken farts, the ground starts to pursue it. Until the smell with us. You see the place? He is just undergoing serious frustration. And he's looking for someone to point on. That is it. Uh, you see, Ichi, you need to listen to us. Please. 
uh, don't allow such a stupid exhibition of perennial immaturity to weigh you down. Mm -hmm. Don't. You don't have to. Uh, you see, you are angry now. You are vibrating. <laughs> when people see this, what would they think? Ah, he's already lost. No, no, no. We know you. You are the winner. You are the winner. Forget it. <laughs> Let them go. See, no matter what they do, don't mind them. You will get there. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, I've heard you. Mm -hmm. I will adhere to your uh, wise counsel and spare him these ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know who is giving him the little wings he's flying with. That is the owner. Of course, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> but we shall see <laughs> the end of this. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, what would you see? Mm. No, after you must have barbed the hair of the head. Yeah, you now concentrate on the beards. Eh? That's the way it is. What would you see? We shall see. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Stop this now. Ah, uh, Stop the cash here. Can I stop? I'm honey, I'm feeling you. No one will see us. They're all busy. See, Chichi, wait. We cannot do this here. Please, you just, you just have to go, okay? Why, Kenna? Why can't we do this here? We can't. Are you avoiding me? Because you've not been coming to our user spot to have me anymore. Chichi, it's not like that. Yes, it's not like that. Then it's how? You see, the eagle eyes have seen us. We need to treat this with caution. So can I spare me that, please? But when you talk about the ego eyes, are you referring to Atakata? Eh, uh, now. Who else? Don't mind that fool. Don't worry. I have a special spot. Another place where we can meet. Are you okay? No one, not even the spirit will see us. Please, I'm running. I need this. Okay, fine. See, you know what? Don't worry. I will come there, okay? But we can't do this here. Please, you can uh, promise me you're going to come. I will come, Tonight, I will come, yes. You will come. Yes. You can uh, promise. I know, don't I will come. I will... Don't film me, you can uh, don't film me, please. Did you just go, go. Yes, hello, this is Prince Daniel. Who is this? What contract are you talking about? A smart ass representative you sent. I mean, Daniela Duke asked me to call you if there is a headway on the contract. Congratulations once again. We hope to work together as a team. Oh, well, thank you very much. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible. contract is he talking about? Oh, I can't remember applying for any. Come to my office now. My darling, I was as shocked as you were right now. Sometimes I wonder if that man put you inside a bottle when you are struggling to come out. What is, what, what, what's the meaning of that? I know that you are still trying to find out if the case is a spiritual one, when all the signs are played out. Do you realize I don't have an evidence to conclude on what you're saying right now? At least I should know one or two before Jumping into conclusions, don't you think? Ah, uh, there she goes again, pissing me off. Can't you just see the handwriting on the wall? That man is a ritualist. Hell, what would have triggered fear when he found out that he was naked? Um, you know what? Um, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, I need to get something done right now. All right, bye. What if this man is not a ritualist? 
I mean, what, what if he's going through some sort of phase that he doesn't want to share with any other person? You sent for me, sir. Yes. Please sit. I just got a call from one Mr. Christopher. Mr. Which Christopher, sir? From which tech? Tell me I pulled off the contract. Oh, yes, you did. You oh. pulled off the contract. Thank God. Uh, so it was a tough one, but I'm happy. I, I'm happy I did it. Thank God. Now, is there something I'm missing out here, Daniela? Because I cannot remember applying for any contract. Well, um, first of all, I must say I'm sorry for acting solo. But we needed that contract to continue sewing high and being the best. The day I came to tell you about the contract, I found out that you were distracted. So I followed the ethics of business, sir. Um, is there any other thing, sir? No. None for now. I have to be now, please. Miss Daniela? Sir. Congratulations and thank you very much. You don't need to thank me. I'm only doing the job I was paid for. Sir. Diamond, or am I hallucinating? <laughs> ah, Mokan Waleni. So, this is the reason why he doesn't want to have anything to do with his wife. He's another woman. So, he's not even a ritualist, he's a cheat.
sister, are you okay? Have you taken something that is not good for your head? Her body temperature is as hot as fire. Yes, I understand. Of course. Mm hmm Okay. It is well. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What is it? Why are you both screaming like people who are seeing ghosts? Your Majesty, there is a problem. What is the problem? It's gift with Your Majesty. What about gifts? Your Majesty, she's, she's mis misbehaving at the backyard. How do you mean misbehaving? Your Majesty, she was, she was saying something about danger looming around and I tried to touch her to, to know her body temperature and it was hot as fire and, and the next thing she collapsed. <sighs> she collapsed? Yes. Was she sick before? No, Your Majesty. You see, what is this you wanted to talk about? That you said you didn't need my husband to be home to have that conversation. I hope all is well. Oremi, my friendship. What I'm about to tell you, I don't want your husband to hear about it. Why would you want to have a talk with me and do not want my... You know what? What is the problem? I have been forcefully accusing your husband of being a ritualist. <sighs> May his name be priest. I'm glad you used the word forcefully. <laughs> yes, I mean, I'm happy that you're beginning to understand that my husband is not a ritualist. Mm. Yes, it was just a misconception of ideas, like I told you earlier. Ah. He's probably passing through a phase that makes him act that way. Face. Yes. Or any face. Yes. Hey. Think and hey. Meanwhile, why did you have a change of mind? Ah. What happened? Uda. Uda me. Ah! Oh. Mm. ah! Girl. Mm? Your husband is a cheat. Bisi, you know we've been friends for a very long time. Yes. Why are you doing all this? No, you're making me see you in a different type of way. Why do you he hates my husband so much. What has he done to you? First he was a ritualist. Now he is a cheat. What is it with you and my husband? What? Seriously? Yes, seriously. You don't believe me? Look at my eyes. Does it look like I believe you? Ah! One lawyer. They used you. Mm. A long bummy. Fine. I saw your husband drop off a certain lady in her house. They were kissing and hugging. Ah, more ring one more, more throw. A long but. And you don't believe me. You know, before you called me, I really had something doing. I mean, I was preparing dinner for my husband. I can see you have a lot of time in your hands. I don't. I still have my food burning on my gas. If you don't mind. I would politely ask you to leave my house and go find something to do with your time. Give me Lole. Yes, Lole. Mm -hmm. Go! I need to go back to the kitchen. Oda, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> and it's one Bawi. Don't say I didn't tell you. I've said my own. I've said my own. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you. One person. Huh? I don't know why you didn't even study mass communication in school because all the news in this life, you have it at your beck and call. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in law's company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By like now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. 
my brother is innocent. I have him by the balls and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refuse, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that when you've not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you helping on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? He had a nerve to arrest my young brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your... Your Majesty, speak! Your Majesty, I swear by the gods of this land, I did not meet any Iche, let alone collecting money. Your Majesty, we all swore to be faithful to the royal household. <laughs> With the part of the great Omigo. But if you feel I'm lying, then you can print the pot so that I can swear. So tell me, what really happened? What can you remember? Your Majesty, sincerely, I cannot remember anything. You may go. Thank you, Your Majesty. Can this elders go to this extent just to bring my son down? Sending evil forces. Hey, cause of my ancestors, please do not let them prevail. Come to our rescue, please. First lady herself. You gave me hello. <laughs> Can you please tell? If I'm the boss lady, then please don't know his what. Come on! When you have been busy planning and winning contracts for him. Babe, your level don't read sky. <laughs> now you be fly again now. <laughs> but listen, to whom much is given, much is also expected. That's my girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prince Daniel has foresight. He's very intelligent. I like his kind of person though. Unlike those stupid men that cannot take their devouring eyes off my body. <laughs> you know, one thing about Prince Daniel is strictly business. He sees every other person like his fellow man. Mm -hmm. What are this? I don't, he, don't, he doesn't care. He's, not, he's not seeing it. He's not seeing <laughs> it. He's blind. And I like his type. <laughs> Seriously. He's yeah, not seeing this. I hear you. You might think he's not seeing, but for me, I think he's seeing. Those legs, those back, those fronts. Can you stop? I won't stop. It's and, obvious. But you know, that's the kind of man I want. <laughs> that's the kind of guy I like. Yeah, I don't want him to see strictly business. I am extremely happy for the woman you have become. Thank you. You know, winning contracts here and there. <laughs> when my girl talks, men bow. Of course, they don't have option. You're the boss, babe. She has it here. But, I'm not happy with you. Come on, Laura, what is it? What have I done this time? Babe. Mm -hmm. You have literally achieved everything you have dreamed of. Thank God. Being a big manager, managing people's business. But when will you start managing your own home? When will you start managing your Um, Laura, please stop it. No, when will you start... Stop it. You know I don't like this conversation. So why are you bringing it up? I am bringing it up because you're not just my friend, but my sister. If I'm truly your sister, then you have to desist from doing or saying things that annoys me. No, Ella. That is where you got it all wrong. We are 
practically family. And this is what family do for one another. Reminding them of things that are lacking in their lives. Things that are utmost important. Can you please stop it? No, I cannot stop. No. I won't stop. You need a man in your life, Ella. You need a man for Christ's sake. What is your success without a man? What is this? I don't want to inflict pain on any man. Ella. What pain are you talking about? What is it that I don't know? It hurts me so much that you cannot trust me. You cannot confide in me. What is it? Ella, what are you hiding from me? Yeah, a lot has been going on lately. <laughs> Prince Daniel has been favoring this new girl. I am telling you. <laughs> the most annoying part of it is that he even created a new department for her and made her the director. <laughs> what do you expect? Hmm? Ruth, what do you expect? Her pride is touching the sky, of course. She's now the second in command. <laughs> That's all the file we have to pass through her before the boss will approve it. <laughs> Ruth, if we are not worried, I am. Yes, so. Yes, so. <laughs> exactly, something has to be done. I saw your husband drop off a certain lady in her house. They were kissing and hugging. Ah, more more along. Did they have sex? No, we did not. That question and the way he panicked wasn't ordinary. And diamond. Stand up. <clears throat> what is the meaning? You of don't this? speak until you are spoken to. Why did you venture into ritualism? You better start talking. Because I am ready for you tonight. Things are not working well again in this kingdom. We the elders cannot sit down, fold our hands, and watch our kingdom go into disarray. My prince, you are not doing anything. Knowing full well that this kingdom is in disarray. Ichi Aham, please calm down. Oh no. Calm down for what? Calm. Oh no. How can I ask you to calm down? Why are you telling us to calm down when things are going from bad to worse, from worse to worse? Oh no. The man, the greatest farmer in this land, lost three hectares. Three hectares of land to a mysterious fire from the sky. As if that is not enough. The best man, wine tapper in this kingdom was thrown by thunder. Thunder! Ebon Aqua. Oh no. You are telling us to calm down. You are telling us to calm down when these things are happening. Calamities everywhere. I understand all that is happening and I feel for the families of the bereaved. I also want you all to know that I am looking for a modified way to tackle this tragedy. All I need right now is time. Time to put things... Get up! Keep quiet! Which other modalities are you on? When well, we already have options of 
you clean yourself. Since you have refused to get married or be alive by ordering you know here to lead out the uh, procession of Ikumbe ritual. Hmm? Dude, did you just shut the prince of this kingdom down? Oh no, at this point, I can do anything. Prince Daniel, we are not here to banter words. We are giving you and the Onohu two weeks. And you read my lips. Two weeks to deal the Nifu. Yes, I will reawaken the abandoned ancient uh, ceremony of, uh, of Faye Okamba. And I believe your father told you what that means. Jude. Are you out of your senses? How can you be thinking of such ceremony? Oh no. Fate watch me plan it and execute it. That's it. What is happening? I hope this is normal as I've been hearing. So that what happened to others will not be my fate. There you go. What for if I may ask? That's your lunch. I can't remember asking for extra food, sir. Are you always this difficult? I said, this is your launch. It's just launch, nothing more. All right, the thing is, sometimes I love to cook in the palace. To this version, I decided to pack this for you, at least to say thank you for everything, for your hard work. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't need extra food. Are you going to refuse a gift from your boss? I'm not defaulting any room. Accepting food from my boss wasn't part of what I signed. Or did I miss that part of our agreement? I'm so sorry for taking that route. All right? This is just a harmless gift. Nothing more out of the blues intended. Daniela? This is the key to the car packed outside. It's all yours. What for? Um, I'm sorry. I can't take it. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Daniela, but my strategist and personal assistant cannot come to work go out there to represent me in the field, in a public transport. No. This is yours. Sir, I'm not complaining. Thank you. The last time the vehicle you were in broke down, it almost spoiled things for us in this company. And this time, I'm not taking chances anymore. So that is yours from my heart. Take it. Daniela, take it. What's going on? 
I'm beginning to suspect foul play. What foul play are you talking about? Uh, about about the things I told you Daniel has been doing. But I, I don't want to jump into conclusion yet. Because his actions and inactions are quite different from the people I've come in contact with. Hello, dear. What if this is God speaking to you? No. No. I, I, I think I have to resign before this turns into something else. Here she goes again. What do you mean resign? Let me ask you. What if this young man is actually innocent of what you're suspecting him of? Babe, you just have to relax, zero your mind and allow things to work out naturally. You will not understand. You won't. Well, how will I understand? What do you want me to understand exactly when you have literally kept me in the dark? Please, babe. Is there something you're not telling me? What's going on? You, you have to confide in me, please. What? Is that the kind of evil ceremony he wants to venture into? I'm afraid, yes. You see, the Jude that I know does not miss words. Your Highness, this ceremony is very, very deadly. Then how come my father never told me about this? <laughs> uh, probably because there's no need to mention him what he wouldn't want anybody to venture into to you. As a matter of fact, the first and the last time this happened, the rejected gods took the life of everyone in the kingdom, leaving only the perpetrators of evil to their fate with the new gods they embraced. Since then, the ceremony was shut down. Your Highness, if this ritual activity is activated, <laughs> I'm afraid the outcome will be something posterity will not want to hear. My Prince, Please, think fast and smart. Is that your village ancestor or your uncle's brother's sister's son? Jesus Christ. I believe I have been vindicated. Or do you still feel I have personal vendetta with your husband? Oh my goodness. So this is it. Ah. This is... Mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. 
You know, I actually thought you were... I, I thought you just had something against my husband the whole time you were telling me this. <laughs> Thank God you said thought. Now you've seen it. Oh, I, oh sorry, sorry. I, 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 is that your husband? Can you just stop, please? When I was telling you, you thought I was joking. So what are you trying to say? You were the only client I've worked on for a very long time without achieving anything tangible from it within that period. Are you implying that you do not like my company or what? What I'm saying is that you lied to me. This is not just a mere quarrel between you and your wife. My instinct tells me that there is more to this. Diamond, all I want you to do is just open up to me. Open up to me, let me help you marry your wife the right way. Most people that don't know me might think we are having an affair. Vivian, I am sorry that, that I am that I'm not honest to you. See, this is complicated. They're less uncomplicated. Hey! So this is it. This is the little nitwit that has turned you into a beast overnight. What haven't I done for you? What sacrifices haven't I made for you? What do you want? What do you want? I am asking you, Diamond. You come home every night and beat me up to a pulp. You haven't touched me in the last one year. You don't eat my food. I have given you everything. What do you, do you want, my womb? I am done. I am done. Come on in. Don't touch me! Madam, I'm sorry. Please. 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 I'm very sorry. Please. How about Roots? How can we have an appointment and you deliberately switch off your phone? Why do you have a bitch to do it? Okay, fine. Now, this lady has enjoyed enough. Yes. Oh, you've not heard? <laughs> the prince just got her a brand new car. SUV for, for that matter. Latest model. And not just that. He took her to the palace. What for? I am telling you that he took that idiot to the palace. Hm. Babe, let's not be in the river and soap will enter our eyes. It doesn't make sense. It's high time we stood up. Yes, so. Yes, so. Me, I am ready. This is what you and I should be enjoying now. Eh? Yeah? 
you were a dog in the human form. So it's her. It's because of that thing that you have been finding me all appealing. Diamond, where did I go wrong? What did I what did I do to you? What did I do? Mirabel. I am. I am not cheating on you. Vivian is just. Shut up! You shut that thing you call your mouth. You even trying to deny when you have been caught red handed. You, you even have the courts to mention her name before me. Diamond, you are a dog. You are a shameless bastard. I am still under your curse truth because your uncle asked me to wait for him until he comes. But you know what? I don't. Diamond, I am done. I am tired. I am broken. You can go ahead and frolic with me. Today I set my eyes on you. First of all, I must say I'm sorry for acting so long, but we needed that contract to continue sewing high and being the best. The day I came to tell you about the contract, I found out that you were distracted, so I followed the ethics of business, sir. Sisters, my greatest fear and challenges come knocking at my door. I am weak. I am confused. And I do not know how to go about this. What shall I do? Do what your heart is currently telling you to do. Because your heart is your greatest ally, my prince. My prince. Me, Frank, graduate of business at me to become an, an ordinary staff in my own in-laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? Like now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, your majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. 
I refuse, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why, why, why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that when you've not treated me wrongly? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell bent on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love you, will he employ your brother as his general manager? He had a nerve to arrest my own brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You said that my brother, Frankie, killed my own husband. Your own foolish man. What? Useless man. I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. Can you let the cat out of the bag already? You're killing me with suspects. What's up with you? I want to propose to Daniela. What? <laughs> What's funny? When did you learn how to make jokes like this? I saw on my father's grave. I'm serious. Really? Yes, really. Wow. Uh, wow, I'm so happy. Like I'm the happiest man hearing this from you. You see, I um well thank you very much for that and um Good day, sir. Um good day, Mr. Rose. Hi. So here's the file you sent to me. So what do you think about the proposal? Not bad at all, sir. But I think you should give it a second thought. Our company has gotten to a height. Our strategies has to be top-notch. Inda is a modifier strategy we can use. Go through it and get back to me, sir. Well, I, uh, I trust your judgment. Go ahead and execute. It's your company. Are you, are you all right? You look pale. Um, I'm, I'm well, sir. Did you see her charisma? Huh? I see that every day. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> wow. Trust me, girlfriend. His uncle is the only person I am waiting for. Once he comes oh, back, <laughs> I'll just hear what the useless cheat has to say and I'm gone for good. <clears throat> uh <-huh. laughs> Does it look like I'm going to cry for that idiot anymore? Oh, Babes, I yeah. am done crying. The only thing that matters to me now is my... Oh, look at him smiling. <laughs> My dear, the only thing that matters to me right now is my son. You... Let me call you back. Okay. Oh, look at him smiling. You are smiling. 
<laughs> Smile for Here Jesus. Uh -huh. Can I have a word with you? Jesus, smile for Jesus. Don't let the devil come close to you, baby. Smile for Jesus. Uh, smile for Jesus. Smile for Jesus. Uh, well, let's clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. Let us clap for Jesus. <laughs> Are you right? You've asked that earlier and I told you that I'm fine. I'm just curious to know what exactly we are celebrating. We're not celebrating anything in particular. We're just there. Alright. Please, can I go now, sir? Ella. You see, I've always had this impression that every woman is a wolf in sheep's clothing. But you have proven to me beyond every reasonable doubt that I have been wrong all these years. And so, I want to ask you right here and right now, will you be my wife? and make my life complete. is wrong with her. Please, calm down, okay? All right, fine. I'm calm. Talk to me. Look, your level of panicking is too much, and that's not even good for your health. I said I'm calm. Please, relax, so that I can talk to you. <sighs> now, I would like to know, what's your relationship with this patient? Well, she's my staff. And also my fancy. Are you going to look at my face all day before telling me what the hell is wrong with her? Doc! Father! Father! Sassy, what is it? Father, you look tense! It is the prince. The prince proposed to a girl, Elia. What? How? When? Not one of my life! Father, you have to calm down, okay? On the process, the girl collapsed and was rushed to a nearby hospital. From the information I've gathered so far, she has a um, chronic heart disease. She will not stay long. Yes, they say she, she doesn't have uh, enough life to live. May the gods be praised. At least our ancestors support our expedition. <laughs> but father, father, you, you still need to do something, father. Yes, you need to dive into action. Tell Ono who to go ahead with the ritual ceremony. There is no time. You just confirmed that the girl is dying soon. Eh? Father, but soon is not today. Yes, she's dying soon. And that's the, 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 the medical report. It doesn't mean that she's dying today. Okay, think about this. What if the prince goes on to marry her? What then happened? They will ascend the throne. One because what, what about us? What about you? I feel like we need to do something about this plan. Think about this. You have a point there. Uh-huh. A 
husbands, the Daniel I know will not stoop so low for such a marriage. Eh? Father, Father, never say never. Anything can happen. The Daniel is a man. He can do it. Well, we gave him two weeks ultimatum. After which we revisit him. Until then, son, we must trade with caution. Ah. Father will be inside. Why is it that now that I have found love and peace, I cannot keep them? I will not stand and watch my peace fade away. reason I have stayed back in this house is because of the respect I have for you. If not, believe me, I would have been long gone. Do you know what I went through in the hands of this man? There was nothing I did not do to make this marriage work, but this idiot seated here would not even let it happen. Am I going to talk about his continuous beating? His rejection of my food? Uncle, I was sex starved for a year and counting. I can't, I, I, can't, I can't even start to mention. And then to make it worse, he had the guts to frolic with another woman and even denied it after I caught him red-handed in the woman's house. Huh. I'm done. I am completely done. I am not doing this anymore. I am leaving him. Diamond. I'm quiet. Are you sure you're okay? How can you cheat on your beautiful wife? Eh? A woman, every other man, I envy of her beauty. Eh? Uncle, I swear, I never cheated on my wife. Oh, really? You did not cheat on me. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uncle, you know what? I don't even have time to banter words with him. I am going to leave you and that is what will happen. I am not going to stay under the same roof with you. Honey, please, you don't need to leave. But believe me, I never cheated on you. Well, you can go ahead and live with your lies. Die with your secret if that is what you want. Uh, uh, Diamond. Are you telling me now that your wife is lying? Is she lying? Well, that's no problem. There is only one way for you to prove your innocence. We all will march to the goddess of purity. Then there, you swear 
that you have never cheated on your wife. And your wife will also swear that she has never cheated on you. I hope you know the consequence. Any of you that are guilty will die. That's it. Uncle, Uncle, can we just get going already? Let's get going because I don't know what we're waiting for. It has not really come to that point. We, we don't need to march to the shrine. I have a confession to make. Then go ahead. Right. I was worried. Worried and scared. I was thinking you're going to change your mind. I almost did. Because what you're asking for is morally wrong. I know. I know. But you are the friend that I have. I believe you are not trusting you. That is why I am asking you to do this for me. I know you wouldn't want your friend to go into extinction. Would you? Diamond, do you think I'll be able to leave with this guilt? Bro, please. Go ahead and do it. The substance I gave to her lasts for three hours. Which one of our 30 minutes has gone? Please. Don't waste time. Go ahead and do it. Mirabelle. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me for this evil I'm about doing to you. Diamond, the moment she takes in, I'm leaving this country. Accepted. It happened two more times before she took in, but she never found out what happened. Aru! Abomination! Diamond! You mean you did all this? I am sorry. I did it when I found out that I cannot father a child. You are sorry. I want to die. Say that you are sorry. I was scared. Shut up. You did this to me, yet you were meting out anger on me? <laughs> like I committed an abomination. You made my life a living hell. This house. Because of your own stupidity. Jesus. Oh God. I'm not going to spend another minute under his roof. I am leaving. <laughs> because anybody who can actually do this to a woman he claims to love can kill that person. A monster in human form. I am sorry. I was scared. Scared that you're going to leave me. 
all the maltreatment I gave to you was a cover up. Good. I stopped eating your food. I stopped sleeping with you. Because if I do any of those, trust me, I will be a dead man according to the custom and tradition of our people. Please. Please. One more uh, word from you, I will hit you so hard. Please just. You are a bastard. Step again, please don't leave me. Please. D don't go, please. Mark this today. For everything. For everything you did to me. I swear to God, you will pay. Sorry, babe, babe honey. Babe. I... Uncle, help me beg her not to leave me, please. Diamond, you were a disgrace to your late parents and to our family. Nonsense. to give my body to his friend. He drugged me without, without even thinking of my health condition. God. It's fine. It's okay. The most important thing is that the truth is out. Yes. You are out from that cursed marriage. Trust me, you will come around. You see, I am torn. I am torn. I, I am broken. You can't be done. <laughs> My love. My love, please. You need to calm down. See, life they say is slow but steady. Just like a snail. Trust me, you're fine. Please. You will come around. God, this is so painful. It's okay. <laughs> You see, this is so painful. It is so okay. It's okay. Please. It's okay. <laughs> You'll be fine. Trust me. You're a strong woman. Remember? <laughs> Samson, what do you think you are doing? Will you shut up? Do I look like I'm joking with you? Now you listen to me. You will lead out the Ikombe ceremony tomorrow. If you want to see the next day. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, you want to do what your father couldn't try. Huh? Let me advise you, son. Hmm? Desist from following your father's evil footsteps. How dare you? How dare you call my father evil in front of me? If you ever try this again, I swear to God, I'll kill you! I'll kill you right here! I can see inner peace, even in the face of death. Take my advice now that you have the time. See, I'm old. I have nothing to lose, nothing. Old man, do we have a deal or not? Hmm? Hmm? I said, do we have a deal? The only deal I have with you is your relevance. Yes. 
Daga. Daga, I see this old man is messing with us. Killed him. Boss, what about giving him more time? I killed you mad! I said, take this man some lesson now! Go ahead! Doc, I can no longer watch her fade away while I'm still alive. It's, it's going to kill me. I will not survive it. She's deteriorating fast. Please, I want you to examine my heart. I want to be her donor. What? Yes, I'm... You can't do that. No. There's no way you're going to do that. Oh, please, give me more time to make some calls and see what happens. Okay? Doc, what are you doing? You need to get a hold of yourself. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry if I overreacted. Just that my son would have been of the same age with you. You remind me so much of him. But, but like I said earlier on, just give me a few days to make some calls. I'm sure something will come up, something positive. Okay. Old man, you see this? You are either going to drink it peacefully or we'll force you to drink it. I'm not afraid of he that can kill the body and not the soul. But I'm afraid of he that can kill the body and the soul. Save yourself from the impending doom that is about to befall you. Ah, uh, bye, I want now. Daga, boss, feed him. Daga, feed him, feed him. Feed him up. Open your mouth. Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Come on, open your mouth! Open your mouth! Feed him! Open your mouth! Good man, open your mouth! Me, Frank, graduate of business admin. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws company. I'm telling you! That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You oh, are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls, and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing! I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refused, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why, 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 why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have you not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell-bent on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? He had a nerve to arrest my young brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You said that my brother, Frank here, killed my own husband. Your own foolish man! What? The great lion of this community. 
I do too. This is why you are smiling, <laughs> looking so excited. Oh, what's the good news? You should order your cook to get me my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess what? The girl is dead, isn't it? <laughs> well, more big news. The big fish. They don't know who is dead. What? I know you'll be proud of the news. <laughs> yes. No, he's dead. Uh -huh. What happened to Ndaldozier? Eh? What killed him? Brother, your son sitting right before you. I did not just kill him. I watched him die. Hey! Hey! Do you know what you've just done? Hey, Samson! Do you know that anyone that kills the owner or any member of the royal household shares some faith in the next seven days? Eh? <laughs> you think I am stupid handling it my own way? Uh, 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 Father, how, how come you never mentioned this to me? I mean, I don't know this, this part of the time. Did I not want you to come down and take this easy and allow me to do it my own way? But I was just helping my father. I, I was trying to be of help to you. Hey! What do I do? I mean, you have to help me. Please, what do we do? Quiet! Shut up! Let me think. Daniel, if I don't sit on that throne, you will not sit on it. Uh, uh, yes, I agree with you, but I don't want to... I said quiet! Quiet! Let me think! Daniel, since you don't want me to sit on that throne, you will not sit on it. Daniel, as I stab you with this knife, so shall you be stabbed spiritually. And that will lead to your death in the next three days. Of this. So you're the one that asked those criminals to kidnap me and bring me here. I told you you can't hide from me. Nothing is hidden from me. I pleaded with you 
to leave that man and come back to me now that I am back. But she refused. Over my dead body. It's no longer your choice to make. Since you will come back to me, you will leave him in a bitter way. Else, I will wreak havoc in that house. Then you have to kill me first. <laughs> My men are stationed everywhere. I'm ready to act upon my instruction. I'm giving you three days. Three days to pack every of your belongings out of that house. X. Every living thing around you, including your unborn generation. We go down. <laughs> that blackmail changed my life to this nightmare I call a life. For the love I have for my husband and my two year old child, I had to leave so they will be safe. <laughs> ah, madam, this is quite sympathetic. So this man, Dennis, where is he now? I just heard recently that he was shot dead during a high-definition robbery that he was a part of in Abuja. That serves him right. You see, what you did was what every other virtuous woman would have done to protect her marriage. It is quite unfortunate you could not tell your husband the story as at that time. It took me lots of sleepless nights to muster the courage. Barrister, I am not telling you all this to buy public pity. Hmm. You remember everything I told you? Yes, I do. That's my entire story. Please, I need an excellent job. I want good results. I want you to follow all my instructions to the letter. I promise I'm not going to disappoint you. You can count on me. Well, well then. Well, shall we? All right. Here are all the details you may be needing. Okay. So, I'll just sign so that we we'll as well sign. Please, Barrister. I hope I can count on you. Sure, I can count on you. Don't worry, Mama. I promise to find my best. begging you to abort this mission. Please, 
How do you want me to be? How do you want me to live? How do I face your father? Mom, please stop crying. I've made up my mind. If dad can see us, then I'm sure he can understand. I will not survive if Daniela dies. Besides, for once, your son has a purpose for humanity and a legacy for himself. This gives me a level of peace of mind and the courage to keep pushing. Please. Uh, mom. Your Majesty, allow him to walk the path which he has chosen for himself. His fate is incomprehensible to the Phoenix mind. He has chosen a path which will never be forgotten in the annals of history. Who are you? Because the gift that I know, he not say such things to me. I am Wama, the good spirit, the goddess of peace. My mission here is fulfilled in the life of the prince. So I have to go back to the immortal realm. Doc, are you good? Yes, extremely good. Okay, we are ready to begin the prep for the surgery. Oh, great. Um, has Dr. Simon arrived? Yes, oh. he's in consultation office. So, shall we? Yeah, let's go save the life as you draw. Agatha, it has always been an honor having you as an assistant. Thanks so very much for all you do. You only say these things, but the pleasure is actually mine. I'm working with the best surgeon in town and your sister at that. So, what could I ask for? That for someone he barely know. How could he give his life when he knows he has a kingdom and a family business to protect? I can't believe that he died because of me. Ella, that is what friendship is all about. <laughs> when you care about someone, you sacrifice for them. <laughs> Ella, he was a noble man, <laughs> both in words and deed. I have never seen such a noble man in my entire existence. So please, stop crying for God knows best. God knows best? Did you say God knows best? If truly God is the creator of the universe, he should resurrect him. At least for me to show him my appreciation. Eli doesn't work that way. His heart is with you. So he is always with you. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. You're trying to give me hope when there no. is no hope. There is no hope. Ella, there is hope. There he is died hope. so that you can leave. Please. Don't take it for granted. How am I supposed to live like this? You will live for How him. will I live? You will. When I know that the man that gave me life is dead. Ella, you will live for him. No. You will live for the sacrifices he made. No, no. Please. My heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. Oh, yeah, My heart is heavy. My heart is heavy. You are going to make me cry. Please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. This is too much. It's okay. It's okay, please. It's okay.
You saw a dying girl lad decided to pick interest in her. Why? You forgot your father's legacy so easily. Why? that you were meant to be a king of a kingdom. You also forget that you have a mother to take care of. Why? Why did you go to this land for a girl you pay salary? waited for me to wake up and appreciate you. <laughs> you give me a chance to love and you're not here to finish what you started. <laughs> how do I, how do I live? How do I live? <laughs> how do I live without you? How, why did you do this to me? Everything my late father told me, which was the reason I hated the female gender, were all false. I do not blame him entirely because his conception about women changed. When his wife, my late mother, whom he considered his life, according to him, left. Little did he know that she left to save us 
from the claws of death. I took two weeks to mourn my mother alone in isolation and also to avoid distraction. I disconnected myself from the world and instructed the doctors to declare me dead for the meantime. That I was showing your dead body. I saw your dead body. Yes. I was given an injection to look dead, which was going to wear off in three hours. You see, right now I am consoled that my mother's sacrifice was not in vain. Because I am going to spend the rest of my life with you. <sighs> Ella, will you take my ring today and be my wife forever? Say yes, 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 say yes. Yes, sir, I'll marry you. Of course, of course, we will marry you. Hi. <laughs> hmm. It's so beautiful. I like it. <laughs> ish, 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 ish. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got a win now. So, <laughs> darling, you're welcome to my home. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you realize that we are just doing his bidding because of his threats? You are very, very correct. But you see, my problem is how do you know and the prince? We discover that we are not doing this from our hearts. Uh, so, why don't we approach Unowu quietly and bring him up to death? That's a very good idea you have there. Of course. But, you see, we have to be very, very discreet about it. Uh, yes. Very, very. Of course. Hi. Ah, my phone. Yes. Okay. So. Hello? Please, who is this? I, I, how did you hear us? Daga is everywhere. Where? Who was that? Daga. <laughs> Daga? Daga. What did he say? I don't know how, but I think he heard us while we were talking. He's <laughs> everywhere. I have to go. Oh. I don't want anything to happen to any of my family member. Please. Well, I understand you both did what you did to protect your loved ones. But I'm not trying to justify your act. After all, you know who died for his loyalty to the throne. Well, this is a new dawn in this kingdom. And I'm not going to start my reign with imprisonment and bloodshed. With that being said, I forgive both of you. Thank you, Your Highness. May your reign be long. Thank you very much. May your reign be blessed with wisdom and understanding continually. You see. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> my prince, now that you have found a woman after your heart, a woman with whom you want to spend the rest of your life, 
Why don't we just fix a date for the marriage and then the eventual coronation? You know? Well, Liche, you are right. But we have to move one step at a time. Uh, well, yes. <laughs> my prince. <laughs> my prince. Hey. Ndike Kwen. Yeah. Ndike Ngwon. Yeah. Ndike Kwezuon. Igwe. Iche Aham. Iche Adjuze. Igwe. On behalf of my beautiful wife here, the Queen of Ndike Kingdom, and my entire royal family, I want to thank you both for your immense contribution during my marriage and coronation as the King of Ndike Kingdom. Igwe. I would also love for you two to put heads together and present to me names of people who can replace our late Onou and also the late Iche Jude. People who are qualified, people who are suitable for those positions. Once again, thank you all for your contribution and I promise you all you will be handsomely rewarded. And as your king, I promise to lead the people of Fundike Kingdom to greatness. Igwe, Igwe, Igwe. Long live the people of Fundike Kingdom. Igwe. <laughs> Me, Frank, graduate of business at me. To become an, an ordinary staff in my own in laws company. I'm telling you. That's an insult. What is so difficult in you giving my brother that money? By now looking at him, you would know he is irresponsible. You are indeed stressing yourself, Your Majesty. My brother is innocent. I have him by the balls and I'm going to squeeze. You can do nothing. I know how you begged me to come help you run this company. I refuse, but you insisted. I have seen how your parents raised you, including your brother. Why would I, why would I treat my, my, my sister's husband like that? Why have not treated me wrong? How dare you call my only brother a thief? Mom, why are you doing this to dad? Why are you hell bent on making this house unbearable for him? Why is it that your father doesn't want to see me happy? Do you think he doesn't love your brother? Is that it? If he doesn't love him, will he employ your brother as his general manager? You had the nerve to arrest my young brother. I mean, I don't have so much to explain to you about this useless and selfish brother of yours. You're not even afraid that Frank is your mom's younger brother. You said that my brother, Frank here, killed my own husband. Your own foolish man. What? Useless man. I am going to deal with this brother of yours so much so that when he sees me coming from one end of the road, he's going to run into the bush. And that who has the guts to call me evil. I'm sorry, but I must tell you to your face. You are wicked. Whether you like it or not, that wicked brother of yours is going to prison. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I will keep repeating it to you. That I am willing to fight and I will fight with everything in me. 